Okay, I press any button. I pressed mouse one in case you're wondering which button I pressed. Hello and welcome to Super Seducer 2. We're back bigger and better. I listened to your feedback and we've made a number of improvements. The first thing is ethnic diversity. We've got Asian characters, ethnic black characters, Arab diverse. characters, and even a Scottish guy. I also listened to female players' feedback and now you can actually play levels from a chick's perspective. Finally, I'm joined by Charlotte. Hi everyone, and I'm here to try and give a little bit of a female perspective on things. Hope you all enjoy the game. Press start, and I hope you enjoy it. With a female perspective? Welcome to you. Uh, it happened like during the. Oh. <sighs> okay. Seems good. Solid options. We don't need options. Credits. Throw them on. Boom. Big shack. Posh Toddy versus Supermodel. Round one, fight. She just stepped off a yard, but the supermodel is just two six. The choice is yours. Go a number six or kill your enemies. What the? Kill your enemies? Huh? The fight that they do with this game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Am I trying to win? Or is this Twitch chat place? Arthur! I'm hungry man, let's go to the restaurant. My comfort. Hey, comrade. They're definitely Russian. <laughs> Arthur, we fucked up the grass again, dude. Not looking good. Is that a good posture? I don't know anymore what a good posture is. That's not a yacht. <laughs> what the? I thought he was checking out the grandma there for a second. How to approach it? Wait, wait, wait. Am I trying to 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 win? Or is Twitch at playing? Because they will definitely lose. Time to bring in super soldiers. I wanna win. I am a winner. Wrong options let you retry. Really? Okay, I, I'll tell you which one is the right one, okay? How would you know? Okay, listen here. Remember our first date? I remember. Yeah, I remember. Look where you are right now, motherfucker. <laughs> Only because I have. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Gaze into your eyes while beckoning her with your finger as if it's a penis. Use the genius conversation starter from that YouTube guy. Which YouTube guy? It depends completely on which YouTube guy. 
Don't approach her at all. Eat a kumquat. I, I don't know what that is. Some kind of fruit? Go and tell her that she caught your eye and can you join her for a few minutes? Catch her attention non-verbally. Hmm. It's uh this is the right one. But I guess Twitch I gets one pick. <laughs> Works every time. Security? 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 Who do you think you are? Woo! Yeah, man! You did it! You chose the very first red option in the game. Congratulations! Dumbass, obviously you don't put your little finger through your trousers and wiggle it around like a He's dick. He's talking to you, chat. Why not? That's good. <laughs> hey, listen, I was just sitting there, saw you, and you caught my eye, so I, I thought I'd come and say hi. How are you doing? Hi, I'm, I'm fine. That's good to hear. Just coming for a spot of lunch. Ah, oh, lovely. Hmm. Non-verbally? This is a nice way to start because if you catch your attention before you actually walk up, uh, she has a chance to kind of what? get used to the fact that you're going to be talking to her and if you kind of just walk up and she hasn't noticed you it's a bit of a surprise when you suddenly start talking so it's a better way when you can do it Boom. Yeah, I think it's also a little bit romantic So I'm Richard Hi, I'm Lottie uh, Lottie, like Charlotte, yeah? Yes, it is ah, Lovely yeah. to meet you Good to meet you too Hello, I already to order Yes, we're ready to order. A, order tea, cake, shot for confidence, something for her. Say, hey babe, the usual, please. You know what? Everything on this menu sucks. Let's go back to my place. Order a tea, cake, something for her. Tell her not to bother you. You are in important conversation. I'll have a piece of cake. The lady will be eating my dick. Okay. So, the obvious one is this one. But, uh, yeah, you get yours first and then I pick. Yeah, I'll have a slice of um, the cherry cake. And for the lady, uh, she's going to be eating my dick. Yeah. What? Um, are you, are, you, are you for real? You, you absolute pervert. You don't like dicks. I like dicks, but I definitely don't like yeah, dicks. I, like I like dicks. I really, Babe, really don't. On. Can you, you just get off? It? No, I really don't want to see your dick ever. Not you are now, disgusting. But somewhere. Look at your smirk. You're actually just like a slimy I'm not pervert. A smurf. Can you get off my table? Yeah, yeah. Just go. Why are you screaming? Shoot. There's people. Shoot. There's people. Get away, pervert. There's people know Come on. Chill. Come on. Off. Off. This is just horrendous. A bit of an unusual order, also wrong, yeah? Uh, yes, very wrong. So, do you already know what you would like? I'm going to be naughty today. I'm uh -huh. going to go for the chocolate cheesecake. Very nice. And a lovely cup of tea, please. Okay, and I'm gonna have the cherry cake, please, and English breakfast tea, but no milk. Okay. Thank you. English breakfast tea. The fuck is that? What is the latest or earliest time that I can Just like Earl Grey. Oh. I don't know, that's a question. But if a guy came to sit with you, you would ask call him to buy you Blue something. You. No, but if he offered me a glass of champagne at 5.30 in the evening, that's Why quite not? romantic. Or yeah. just a straight espresso. 
a glass of champagne or sorry an espresso what the fuck That's... wait but i was right right i was right a ignore him switch phone to silent call mahmoud okay <laughs> obviously a but you won't be so yours first Lottie, I hate to do this, but I've got something really urgent. So it's lovely to meet you and all that, but I've got to go. Right. Um, Bye. God, how rude. God, how rude. He said it was something uh, urgent. Waitress? Though. Hey, buddy, what's so urgent? There is a YouTube convention, my friend, and now is your chance. Ooh. Wait. The so most exactly? gang the in Uganda. Great. Betty Jack. Awesome, perfect. Boogie? Ah, he's quite likable. Tim Sterling. Fucking prick. Alpha Rad. Wait, did I lose my chance now? I like those guys too. There is also the mini mint. Nah, he didn't answer my email, so whatever. Anyone else? Bro Jared? Let's fucking do this. Lisa. Bring me my special briefcase. Mahmoud ending, by the way. <laughs> the special briefcase. Die, you fuckers! <sighs> Level? Remember, one objective was kill your enemies. I remember. Kill your. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess you two. Okay. Best ending? I don't know. Why does Mahmoud have to be connected though to. The fucking bombing. Found the best ending already. Good job, Forsen. Go back. I mean, you said I beat the level. Man, let's go to the restaurant. Okay, I guess. It's my kumpa. <clears throat> What's up, Sargon? For five months, fantastic. Casey, Bill, Zaraz, Thorben, PK, C Prime, Jihadi, Bird, Dog, Jimmy Russell, McMeck. I know what to type. Also, we fucked up the grass again, dude. And blue, blue senpai. Thank you, boys. Jimmy Russell's with one year, by the way. I'm here for the fisting. Really enjoying the FTL streams. Feels okay, man. Good, man. Good. We have a pretty good run going, actually. I can't. I can't skip it. We just have to wait. Hire Matt. 
Thank you, dude. Sydney all with the two years. Enjoy your new golden E, man. I force it, I like less than three. Less than three. Press S. It's not S. It's spacebar, but it doesn't work, okay? I'm pressing both, okay? Don't worry about it. I know how to skip if it's actually skipping. But I do this for a living, okay? Clear food, Dino, Cynical Ryan, Not So Super TV, Psycho Toasters, and Vince the Attic. Oh, he's fucking back one. I pressed S. I pressed spacebar. Okay. Did you press spacebar? Nope. I should have <laughs> tried. Okay. Hmm. We'll get back to where we were. I still don't understand the non verbal part. Hey, listen, I was just sitting there, saw you. I guess they added, they eye. just I, I they didn't want to do it in hi. two steps. How are you doing? Hi, I'm, I'm fine. That's good to hear. Just coming for a spot of lunch. And just oh, added the steps together. This is a nice way to start because if you catch her attention before you actually walk up, uh, she has a chance to kind of get used to the fact that you're going to be talking to her. And if you kind of just walk up and she hasn't noticed you, it's a bit of a surprise when you suddenly start talking. So it's a better way when you can do it. Yeah, I think it's also a little bit romantic. So I'm Richard. Hi, I'm so Lottie. I'm why Lottie like did I have the wrong yes, answer yes, last time here? I think I had the right Which answer. I picked the right answer. Hello, I already told her. What are you? I did pick this one, but she was talking about champagne. Save the right answer for lost. We already did this part. Are you stupid? God. We already did this. We already picked this one. And the right one is this one. Wait. No, no, no. Oh, they changed the options up, actually. The right one is this one. I already picked this one. Shut up. Fucking, we're so getting back to the know what you would like? I'm going to be naughty today. I'm uh -huh. going to go for the chocolate cheesecake. Very nice. And a lovely cup of tea, please. Okay. I need to okay. listen now and if I'm this is the right the answer or not. Cake, or if this is an acceptable answer. Tea, but no milk. Okay. Thank you. What is the latest or earliest time that I can have champagne? Oh. I don't know, that's a question. But if a guy came to sit with you, you wouldn't ask him to buy you champagne? No, but if he offered me a glass of champagne at 5.30 in the evening, that's Why quite not? romantic. Or yeah. just a straight espresso. Sorry. Okay, so, so far, I have one sentence. Just say. someone messaging me. Let me out. put that on silent. Three out of I three. I never do that. I never have my phone on when I'm talking to someone. No, oh, it's understandable. You know what? It's such a lovely day. We already called Mark Wood. That's why we're repeating the level. It's got they blew up YouTube it, headquarters like or something. Interesting convention. style you have. Thank you. Very nice. It's really nice of you to say. Well, it's true. So, what do you do? I'd like to know more about Richard. I like. Okay, so this we haven't done. Okay. I work wonders in bed, make a joke, then tell the truth. I'm a mumble rapper. I'm a mumble rapper. Not a humble one, but a mumble one. That's the best kind of rapper. Distract her and do the ring finger DHV routine instead. What the? I actually don't know what the fuck this is. I make enough to give you 500 right now if you'll come home with me. I work for a pharmaceutical company and make YouTube videos. Truth. 
marketing manager and I make YouTube videos, but I really love poetry. Uh, let's see here. The right option is not so obvious this time. Uh, let me think here. I, I, I think, what do you? I think it's F. Pharmaceuticals is kind of boring, you know, this sounds better. But okay, I guess you want A. B. Which one do you want? A or B? Or D? You get... B. Well, as you could probably tell, um, I'm a mumble rapper. Uh? A mumble rapper? You know what that is? What's a mumble rapper? You don't like rap music or you don't um, really... I don't really know rap music, but... I give you a yeah. little something. For well, bitches all trying to swallow this, I feel like I'm fighting an octopus. Thought it was killers, come out in my bushes, but come to find out it's photographers. <laughs> Flash. Like that. Oh, right. Cool, yeah? Mm. No, actually, I'm, uh, I'm, I've got a pharmaceuticals company and I also make YouTube videos. That's just kind of the two oh, wow. things I've got going on. Wow. Do you do your YouTube videos as the pharmaceutical company? No, that... completely unrelated. Wait, I've what? tried right. to have different things going on and then... And you know, what are your YouTube videos about? Well, I will tell you. Picking up women. <laughs> Obviously, I have amazing rap skills, so I can, I can, you know, do this. But yeah, if you, if you want to, I mean, you're always going to be asked your profession, so you should be able to answer it in an interesting way. If you can make a laugh or if you can be passionate about it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but you should be ready for this question because you're always going to be asked it, so don't let it be boring. No, you can't be boring. You've got to be passionate about it or, as Homeless, you say, make a joke of, out of what you do, but Wait, do what? something interesting. What is your favourite mumble rapper? Oh, I have so many. You know, I just can't quite place a name at the moment, but come back to me. Okay. <laughs> And what do you do for work? Wait, what oh, the fuck? Well, that was the right um, option. I don't really need to work, but I this do way? a spot of acting. Ah, lovely. You know, something fuck? interesting I've noticed. I've met some actors, and they're always very interesting people because they're. I think my option would have been right too. And that's Absolutely. by the way. I think it's because when they're acting, they have to portray all these emotions, so uh -huh. they just understand people and emotions. They can read they body do. language. And yeah, and that's what I love. I just love studying people and their nature. Mm. Um, and it's a really good way to connect with people on a really deep level that not necessarily you can do in reality. <laughs> yeah, and actors, they think they're kind of extroverts that wouldn't connect with people, but because of, of this, game. you can really You can feel it, there. and yeah. you can get the vibe. Shut the fuck it's up, amazing. that was Chad's option. Excellent. Fuck it's yeah. a very cool job, actually. Yeah, it is. It's, it's nice to dip in and out, hmm. obviously. The most hey, you recognize her? in Uganda. In the car? Yes, I do. I think... Who is I she? I think it's that famous Russian model. What's her name? I don't know, but God, yeah. she's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah, not bad. Wow. What are you... Uh... <laughs> Tell me to bring in super soldiers. Okay, chat. We call him Blue Seal. You no, know I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to get her autograph quickly. Oh, I'll, okay. I'll be back probably. Hang on. Oh, that was a. Right. I'll be back from. <laughs> what? Starstruck. Ooh. That was brutal. Oh. <sighs> 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 Gotta go fast. Damn, he made it. Impressive. 
A, be direct and say that she looks amazing and you didn't want to lose the chance to meet her. B, ask for a lift to some far off place. Tell her your aunt is in a hospital and you need to get there ASAP. Pretend to be a cop. Tell her she's cute and fuckable and her car is pretty big so sh so should go bang in the car. Start humping in the car. Start humping the car. The most deadliest gang in Uganda. <laughs> what the fuck? F. <laughs> we run all the way, dude. Carried. Okay, if this is the right answer, I'll fucking I'll I'll just go fly that. I like your car. Thank you. It's a Mercedes. Yeah. Yes. Red one. Obviously. Uh, what are you doing? Worth, worth the run. So immature. That is the wrong answer, chat. Don't try that at home. Okay, the right answer is... You'll get your E, but let me, let me just think of the right one. I think C. Or A. Depends on how he says it. Listen, um, it's a nice car. Thank Super you. Super nice. It's I know, I thank you. Uh, it's all 350, yeah? <laughs> yes, you're right. Orson, you know what? Can you please try out every answer? You're beautiful. Your car's amazing. Miss content. Let's fuck in. in the car. Oh my god, you want to yeah, have yeah. sex in yeah, the babe, car? Yeah, babe, let's get, let's get in. Get, get, get in, get in, get in. Yeah, yeah. Jump in, yeah. You fucking crazy oh, bastard. Yeah. Fucking bitch. All that cardio for nothing, man. Fucking hell. Big T's. But I'll find you. What did he read? Sex in the car? I mean, I, again, his choice of phrases are awful. Pretend to be a car. What if this is the right answer? Is this your car? Yeah. You got license registration? Why you ask? I'm an undercover cop, oh, actually. Yeah. Um, we've been hearing reports about a girl in a red Mercedes who's mm -hmm. transporting drugs across mm -hmm. the border. She's hiding them in her pussy, so I'm gonna need to check you. So if you'd like to get out of the car, do you want me to this. show you something? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah, I have something for you. What you got? See that? Uh, you're also an undercover cop. Yep. So now what you need to do? Um, we were rehearsing, so now I will just go. And, yeah, uh, immediately. See you in the precinct, yeah? What are the odds? Never lucky. Rubber ducky. I'm a cop, you idiot. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Please stop skipping answers. You have to try them all before Shut choosing the right the one. Fuck up. We want to see all the content. Please force him. <sighs> I think it's this one. Listen, um, uh, my, my auntie's in hospital and I need you to help drive me there. I need to be there fast. You've got this uh, and Mercedes. What's, what's the address? Um, the she's hospital? in the hospital. What one? Uh, ah, come on, dude. You don't know a single hospital? hospital. You know that one? Hospital for aunties. No, yeah. Yeah? If I actually had the address, I would have pulled that one off. So the old classic auntie in hospital line. You heard that one a few I times? I haven't. No, I've never heard of that. Would it work, though, more importantly? I mean, that we I'll have Uber. Yes. We have Uber. 
Yeah. Not True. in the middle yeah. of wherever that yeah, was. The, the forest. Yeah. Take an Uber. <sighs> well, it's it's a line. Listen, I saw you in that place. Mm-hmm. And I just think you look amazing. I had to come and talk to you. Thank you. I didn't know I'd need to run five kilometers, but... Anyway, didn't want to miss the opportunity. Cool, that's the right option. Obviously, if you go to any great difficulty, she's an undercover cop. To talk to she a woman, it's can't strange do that. to it be really indirect. So, you know, if you had to cross the road or run through a crowd or run for, I don't know, 20 miles to speak to her. You've got to make it worth it when you get there. Mm -hmm. Anyway. My name's Richard. My name is Marina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing today? Fine, and you? Tired, but... Um, Why? <laughs> what do you think? I've run five miles or kilometers or something. Really? Five yeah. miles or kilometers. Yeah. It's a long way. Yeah, but it's nice. It's a nice place here for running. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ask her her phone number, validate her that she's open and friendly. Say that you recognize her from somewhere in a jokey way. Tell her about how she needs to walk rather than drive. Wow. The most deadliest gang in Uganda. Listen, baby girl, I just noticed you're quite pale and a little bit chubby, so I think you should leave the car and walk. That's bullshit. Get some exercise and I will run over your foot. You know what? If you do that, it would be very painful for you. <laughs> Threatening a cop, Monkers. Dude, how could you? How could you, chat? Okay. It's C. I know you from somewhere. Yeah. I've seen you, I've seen you, I've seen you. Uh, I think I saw you on uh, Crime Watch or America's <laughs> Most Wanted or something like that. Yeah, that was you, right? Of course, that was oh, me. Oh, no, 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 I know. It was that um, Fails video. Uh, also, that was me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fails I knew video. I'd seen you somewhere. Yeah, you have that memorable, memorable look. <laughs> This is a nice one because, you know, she expects that you're going to say that you recognize her from all her fancy modeling campaigns, uh, but then you're turning it into a little bit of a playful joke and it's a way to get the laugh I made this early, joke. which is always a great thing to do in the early stages. Always, if you can make a woman laugh, it's the best thing you can do, in my opinion. But not in the bedroom. No, no, that's a no-no. Marina, I've got an intuition about you immediately. Do you want <laughs> Tell to hear me. It? Um, I think that you're very tough and independent, and so it's hard for people to get to know you. Probably, Is that right? yes. Yeah, but that with people that you're close to, your good friends, family, you're actually very warm and open and kind. Yep, you're right. right. Yes, good intuition. Hmm. Huh. You just feel it. <laughs> good intuition. Of course, they, she's gonna think that about herself. Doesn't mean it's true. Ask what's more numerous, the men she slept with or the book she read. What are you? <laughs> ask if, ask if her, ask her if she is spontaneous or boring. Hmm. Ask her if she likes dogs or cats. Ask her if she likes it in her pussy or ass. Ask her if she is a good girl or a bad girl. Right answer is this one. I've got a great question. Wonderful great. question. Ask you ready? Me. Yes. Do you do you do you do you prefer it in the pussy or in the ass? 
<laughs> oh, you're disgusting. Yeah. You, you like are. it? You ready, babe? What? Yeah, Where are you here doing? I come. I'm gonna drive. You're gonna drive? Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm trying. Let's go. Yeah. Live fast, die young, bad girls do it well. Live fast, die young, bad girls do it well. Normal Fuck. question, surely, no? No, not all right. No? Never, in fact. For fuck's sake. Welcome to Uganda. <laughs> I've got a great question. Ask me. You ready? Uh, Okay, what is more numerous, the books you've read or the guys you've banged? <laughs> books. But books? I've read around a thousand. A thousand books? Yes, God, obviously more than you read. Yeah, I would never read books. Read around Audio a thousand books. books. Okay. Tony Robbins, Richard Bandler, Harry Potter. Why the fuck you lie? <laughs> it's obviously wrong, but... Maybe not super bad, kind of funny, no? Mm, it's one for a reason? Yeah, and I, I've got a question for you, by the way, Charlotte. Okay. Do you read a lot of books? Yes. Cool. Is that the end of your question? Yeah. <laughs> Is this the right answer? I think so. I've got a question, uh -huh. right? So I could intuit Yesterday something, I was but now I've got to ask. My head are you boring or game? spontaneous? Now this uh, cringe spontaneous? built satire. Yeah. I don't believe there are people who I didn't are think I would say I'm this, but I'm actually <laughs> worried about no, your No, but you were very, forces. like, immediate that oh, you're spontaneous. Well, What's something very... Get... Sorry. Spontaneous that you've done. Bad timing. Well, I actually, I stopped here in the middle of the road. Talk to me. To, to a guy running after my car. <laughs> that was spontaneous. I guess it was, yeah. <laughs> it worked. This is the best possible option. And, you know, in this situation, it is a very spontaneous situation. You know, you've run off to the car, talking to her, and you want to suggest uh, going somewhere right there and then. So her being spontaneous would be good. 95% Most success Most people would rate. agree that they're spontaneous rather than being boring. I don't think anyone would admit, ad admit to being boring. Are you spontaneous or boring? Um, I can be spontaneous, I think would be my answer to that one. Excellent. So boring. What have you been up to today? Um, actually, I was in the gym. I just finished my training. Um, do you always, so you're a supermodel, so you need to look like this in the gym or you did it afterwards? You mean my makeup? Yeah, all the makeup, the sexy What's dress. With... <laughs> the makeup's great, but I just think if you're working out and you've got... I was born like this. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. I just have some other plans after my training. Ah, so you're going somewhere super glamorous now. Super glamorous. Yeah. I'm going to have my cold pressed juice now. What? What did she say? Freshly pressed juice? Cold pressed juice. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Harlek swang tung jolo. The hardest of archibalds. Kina sima. Snoopy ever taken morphine. Thank you, boys. That's a two years on Snoopy, by the way. Noise. Noise. Enjoying your badge. Say something about cold pressed pussy juice. <laughs> Which juice bar? I'll take an Uber and meet you there. I got 20 minutes. I'll pay for the juice, you pay for the gasoline. Can I come with you? Maybe let's just sit in the car because girl drivers. Cold pressed juice, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I like? What? I like cold pressed pussy juice. <laughs> Oh my god, you're so You like awful. it? Can I, no. Are you juicy now? You're getting juicy oh. for me, babe. You're feeling juicy, nice and wet and juicy and... Chris? We oh. call him Blue Seal. Hmm. 
Do you like uh, juice? No, I don't even try it on like me. Juices? I've heard it. It doesn't work. It's disgusting. But do you like juice in general? Does it matter? We want to know. Yes, I like fresh apple juice. Ah, OK. Do you like juice? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what kind of juice? Pineapple, pear, good mix. Which juice bar? I'll take an Uber and meet you there. I think the obvious answer is this one. But I guess you want this one. I love cold pressed juice. Um, mm -hmm. Tell you what, why don't, why don't we go? Together? Yeah, yeah. Okay, B let's is go. not the right, right. one. Um, what? Uh, woman, car, drive. So what? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Well, you know, like you're driving and then, oh, my nail's broken. <laughs> or I'm driving, oh, I got a text. Oh, really? I'm driving. Oh, I love this song. And how do you drive? I don't have a car, but I'm sure I can you do it better than you. You don't have a car. Hey, yeah, we're on the same page. You man, if you don't come on, get car. out. I'll drive. I'll drive us. What are you Thinking doing? Yeah, yeah, come on. It's locked. <gasps> Babe, this is dangerous shit. Come on. I'm not joking. You can't be driving. See that? Get out. See that? Yeah. Bye bye. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you nearly crashed it in the that way, babe. Uh, but wait for me, but also... Uh, stay in the kitchen and off the roads. Be safe and cook. This is definitely cook, the right don't answer. don't drive. It's the educational one. This is super sexist. I mean, this is really not going to work for you. Oh, yeah, right. And it's That's not a true, joke, right? It's totally not true. Thank I'm you. a fabulous driver. This is the the obvious answer. A lot of people said B is the obvious one, but this is the obvious one, okay? This is the right answer. Yeah, I love cold pressed juice. It's better than just the normal fresh juice, and that's better than the packet juice, right? Of course. Very nice. But you I don't want you what, it to cool um, down. I'll buy the juices Uber. if you pay for the gasoline. What do you say? I'll come <laughs> with you. Great idea. Boom. So this is an interesting one, and whenever you try to suggest something, some kind of uh, you know date or going somewhere, if you suggest it like this, you know I'll pay for the juice, you pay for the gasoline, uh, it's much easier to say yes. If you say, can I come with you to the juice bar? Um, it's a little bit weaker, and she's often going to say no, even if she might otherwise have agreed. What do you think? Yeah, and you're also elongating the date by suggesting there's longevity and paying for the gasoline you're going to go further <laughs> on in the day nice one all right shall we go okay get in you're not actually I'm paying for the gasoline mm. oh, this is nice obviously thank you woman cool so which juice bar were you going to um i was going to the new one in the center you know it's, i don't remember the name mm. i'm not sure but you know what there's a place um it's not too far, I think, but it's in a beautiful location. You might even say romantic. It's by the lake. Have mm -hmm. you been to that one? No, I have never been there. Let me find it on Do the map. Do you know map. the address? Because I don't know how to go there. Mm, no, but if I put it in, juice, juice bar, lake juice or something. Else. Yeah, there it is. Lake juice. <laughs> See, this okay. one. So you just go there and then there oh, and then there. Really, so not far away. Yeah, it's not far. You want to try it? Okay, let's try this one. You want to build trust. Of the training, there is nothing better than a massage. Text a female friend to call. Did you know that 93% of girls masturbate in the shower? Tell her you want to get to know her in intimately. Hmm. Build trust. Okay, let me just think. The right answer. This one is the right answer. Uh, but chat, I guess, wants this one. 
You said you've just been to the gym, right? Right. Yeah. That made me think of something because no, gyms have shelves. No, uh, it's a little bit dirty. Retarded. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> okay, not too try. dirty. Try. Okay. Not so too obvious. No. If I Did you know that 93% right. of women masturbate in the shower? Mm -mm. I no? didn't know that. And the other 7% sing in the shower. Then do you know what song they sing? Which song? Do you know? No. Ah, so you must be in the 93%. Oh my god. <laughs> but nice job, but not it's for too the most The most little bit dirty, in Uganda. But kind of funny. Long hair we waited. No? <laughs> so this one is uh, too sexual. Yeah. Um, do you know this one? Yeah, I've just heard it, yeah. It's, yeah, it's like, did, did you know that 93% of women masturbate in the shower? Did you know? I didn't know. The other 7% sing. Do you know what song they sang? What? She did just heard a joke. Then you must be in the 93%. Boom. Hilarious. Like no. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is it? Just literally a conversation killer there. It's just not charming. <laughs> that one should be. That was actually impressive. You didn't have to share the joke. Wait, what? Did I get you made? No. It was just a, a passable one, I guess. Um. So where is it? Oof. I think it was here. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it must have shut down. Now they've, they've got this Coca-Cola place over there. Maybe... Or maybe you, know. you planned this. Tell her no and that you are very honest. Apologize profusely. Say that a lot of girls have fantasy of sex in public spaces. Well, obviously A. Well, I tell you what. Mm -hmm. This is a very beautiful place, as you see. Yes. And I know something 100%, right? 100% of girls, 100%. maybe 200% of girls, 200%. love having sex outdoors in nature, especially if someone might be able to see. So I was thinking I'll just bend you over this thing here, just be banging you, and then these grannies watching, kids, swans. Kids? What the fuck? So Charlotte, going to need your help on this one. Obviously, it's a bit inappropriate, but mm -hmm. is it factually accurate? It's totally inappropriate. The 200% of women? Factually accurate? Does it Sex matter? in public places? Sorry, dude. This is the beta answer. This is the one you would do, chat. I'm gonna do it for you. Where is so it? So you don't make the mistake. I'm sorry. It was here. I'm sorry. It was I somewhere know. here. And uh, wasting your time and you had to drive here and stuff. Mm -hmm. We should have gone to that one you said in the center, right? Probably, but time already spent. Yeah. Anyway, it's quite nice. Anyway, got a little can we make some food? There. Like, see that swan? Mm-hmm. It's not so bad, right? Unless you're thirsty. Admitting your mistakes is good. Uh -huh. Going too far, it kind of loses, you lose something if you're doing that. I'm so sorry, please forgive me if it's yeah, too it's much. Yeah, too, it's too much. Are you paying attention, chat? You know, I used to come here when I was young, mm -hmm. um, feed the ducks, the swans. And so now? When you are not young anymore? Ah, uh, no, I'm too busy, so... What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Hmm... Let's say, fuck the juice bar and come to my house for juice. Start trying to grope her and tell her you knew she was a slut when you saw her. Ask her if she wants you to go down on her. Hmm. <sighs> well, this is obviously the right answer. Uh, but we should try this one first, right? <laughs> what shall we do? Hmm? 
What shall we do? Where are you living? What shall we do? Well, I just knew the moment I saw you that you're a dirty slut. So I know exactly what to do don't with you. Don't touch me. I'm going to touch you, babe. Don't touch me. I'm going to touch you. Don't touch me, otherwise you're... Oh, my God! Can't this guy's crazy. <laughs> Trying to group women in fucking Russia. <laughs> they have nuclear weapons fucking... in their fucking purses. Ah, oh, where are you, you... Where are you, you bitch? Super kick. <laughs> where are you? Ah. 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 Come back, you bitch. Ah. I mean, I'd be on the phone to the police immediately. Marina. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I've got a radical idea. I forgot there was radical. a scene. Tell yeah. me. Yeah. Shut up, shut up. So get this. Hear. Juice bar's not here. Obviously. So, we could go to the Coca-Cola place, but no, we don't really want that. We could go and try and find another juice bar, but... Mm, mm. Mm? I tell you what, I've got a juice machine. I've got oranges, pineapples, maybe I've even got some mangoes. So why don't we go to my place and... I'll make us some delicious what juice. What do you say? Mango pineapple. So mm -hmm. Fucking For a juice. juice machine. Just the juice. Mm. Well, okay. Excellent. Nice one. This is the right option. Obviously, it's very bold, uh, but you've already got some indicators of interest. She does want juice. The most you got the juice. To come in Uganda. Look, there's nothing wrong with being bold and confident. That's nothing to, you know, to, to stop. It's an attractive quality. Good luck. You know, one of the things I like most in life is how you can make small decisions and it just changes your life in a completely unexpected, but exciting way. Yeah, like today, how we met. Yeah, I don't know where you're leading to, but I need to tell you. Mm -hmm. If I'm coming to a house, I'm just coming to have juice. Juice. Not sex. Not sex. Juice. Tasty juice. Anyway, you should remember that I just come out of my kickboxing class. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kickboxing class? Oh. Well, unfortunately for her, I'm a fucking MMA fighter. There's nothing you can do. I'm not that fruity, it's harder to get me into bed. Tell her that if she doesn't have sex with you, she won't ever see her family again and will get them back in pieces. I'm using you for juice recipes, nothing more than that. Don't be so presumptuous. Say that you respect whatever decision she makes. Uh-huh. So then you're implying that that was your idea from the first place, not the right answer. Welcome to Uganda. This is the right answer. This is two chats answer. <laughs> Wait, she's a cop. Come back, I forgot. Okay. It's over. So if you don't, you'll never see your family again. Okay. You're gonna get them back in little pieces, and I'm going to eat their liver and their kidney and roast it and marinate it, and then. She didn't honestly take this seriously. Um, no. Good. Take it seriously, chat. Right answer. <laughs> no, 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 I, you got it all wrong. No, it's nothing like that. Of course, um... Of course, I wasn't trying to have sex with you. It's just, you know, I was like, okay, now you're ruining I have it. juice in the house, juice machine, pineapples, you know. <laughs> the most yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. What do you think I am? A guy that just tries to have sex with girls? Why would I do that? Think about it. He's being so sarcastic. I didn't know he was going to be sarcastic. Not the best option here, could have been better. 
Yeah. You're very you thirsty. You could have said that. Mm -hmm. I'm super thirsty. Look, that juice is not going to cold press itself. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, let's go. Joyce the man, creamer streamer, sitter, patchy, chemical neon TV, and Teddy Talent. Thank you, boys. Welcome, welcome back. What are you? Wait, what? Here you go. I okay. missed the this nice is orange joke. and pineapple. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Had it for the first time in uh, Singapore. I'm trying it for the first time now. Oh, cool. Well, tell me what you think. Ah, oh, really nice, refreshing. You're good, right? Yeah, when it's hot outside, it's perfect, I believe. What's your favorite juice? Actually, my favorite is tomato. You forgot to juice. mention tomato. Yeah. It's like bloody, bloody Mary, yeah, with vodka. And after yeah, Bloody Mary, when you have some hangover, it's perfect tomato juice. Ah, very nice. Cool. I, you know what's very good? In tropical countries, when they have all the different fruits, you can have dragon fruit, uh, sour sop, like all, all kinds of crazy fruits. It sounds so nice, tropical countries. Yeah. Do you like to travel? Yeah. Find out about her passions. Use Adam Lyons' bed, bad sex routine. Ask her about her sex life. Use Bexter's three criteria routine. What the fuck? Okay, we have to find out what the actual answer here is so we don't pick it first because I want to know what the fuck these are. Is this the one where you just get undressed? Find out of our passions. Okay, yeah, I mean, I mean, this one might be the right one. I don't know. But okay, sure, this we will we'll assume this is the right one. Uh, I gotta take a leak though. Bye, Google. Get late. Wait, are you about to get late? Yes. Better fuck this up. Better fuck this up. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, what is this? You know what, Marina? I made a resolution to myself no because I was just getting tired of bad sex. You know, like you, you meet someone. No, but too much. So I'm like, no more. The rest of my life, only good sex. Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah, but I've been studying it, you see, because I've thought about it, I've been watching, and now I think I can tell when someone's going to be good in bed. Uh, how can you tell it? Like the way they move, the way they behave. In real life? Yeah, and you in can just real connect life. it. So give me some example. What? Well, if someone is, you know, too kind of stiff when they walk too strict and they don't have this <laughs> kind of movement the way they react to things that they like whether they're just like it's nice or whether they you know show some passion in their movements but that's so many easy. many things that's many so many easy. things but maybe some little details but it's important isn't it do you do you like bad sex 
What well, the? I never, uh, I never think about people how they are in bed when I see them in real life. Yeah, oh, no, like stop I now. think about people in sex only about those people who I really like. Yeah, but do you have bad sex? Yes, I had. Right, you shouldn't. Yeah, don't you agree with me? Yep, I agree with you. All right, high five. <laughs> <laughs> This one I actually quite like because it's a way to talk about sex and also imply that you're good in bed. And by this point, it's maybe not terrible to, to talk about sex in the conversation. So it's not something I would personally do, but I think it's okay. It wouldn't be a killer. Wouldn't be a killer, no. Well, what was the some, other one? What was it? What the Thai fuck this work? Now it was kickboxing. Ah, kickboxing. You know what is it? Yeah, uh, that's What's the What's the difference between kickboxing and Thai box? Ah, you're testing me. Okay, so uh, Thai boxing is where you can kick, punch, but you can also elbow. Right. So it's awful and knee and all of that it's stuff. It's awful. You want to see real kickboxing in your life? Mm, yeah, I think I saw it. Yeah, you want to try? With you? Yes. In this dress? Yes, in this dress. In these heels? In this heels. Sounds great. Yeah, show me something. Let's start. You ready? I was born ready. Let's and now start. Now I'm even readier. Let's start. Okay. <laughs> what? Knock her out to show your masculinity. Do soul gazing to connect with her. Have a little spark. <laughs> what the? Have a little spar and then Jiro throw her onto the couch. Keep calling her slack to provoke her. I mean... I'm all for equality, right? Or am I? <laughs> I don't know, Twitch. Do I have to pick this? Or I'm sexist? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, let me show you something. You, you know ready? what to do. I don't know, loads of stuff. All right, you ready? Yeah. What the, what the, what the? <laughs> Hadouken! <laughs> yeah, that? you like that? What's that? That's not kickboxing. It's not? Oh, no. maybe, maybe I don't really know then. But what I do know is... <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Oh. You lose. <laughs> Yeah, look at you now, you stupid fuck, eh? <laughs> Flawless victory. Ha 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 ha. Fucking Mortal Kombat. So this one, I, I'm gonna, you know, go out on a limb and say that it's probably a no-no yeah. for many reasons. Yeah, no, I'm this. gonna you? agree with you there, surprisingly. Legal, moral. No. Yeah, there's a long list of reasons. Religious. Mm -hmm. And hence it's red. She wasn't paying much attention in kickboxing class. Keep calling her slide. Alright. Start. Yeah, let's do this. Come on then. So first no, this I know what to do, I know what to do. Like, no, you should watch this. take a step. What the what the what the Yeah. You should that take a step seven. like this, hold your guard start. like this. <laughs> 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 Kind of crazy. <laughs> and I pretend gonna go here. <laughs> Protecting literally no, your shoulder, and not the yell. Yeah, whatever. Starting position is like this. I'm oh, boring. Come on, look, just hit me, hit me. You want me? Yeah, you're not angry. You? I need to make you angry. It's yeah, not. come on, you bitch. What you got? You're supposed Nothing. to protect your fucking Shit, face. Come on. Okay. Just making you angry, so you do it properly. Yeah, I am angry Come on, you, already. you thought, you slug. Come on. Come on, you whore. Hit me. Why are you sad? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh my god, I, I was, I was, oh, I'm so sorry, it was too so rude. Can I help you? No, you've done enough, just get, get, so get sorry. lost. Oh, oh my god. Just get Fuck, that was the strat, he fucked it up. Are you okay? No, I'm not. It was the right Are you gonna right be now? okay? Not today, so... Maybe next time? <sighs> oh my god. I'm so sorry, once again, I'm so sorry. Okay, done, and get lost, please. I'm so sorry. I don't think this is the best way to a woman's heart. <laughs> no. So, 
let's learn some techniques. So ah, let's work. just try. What the? What the? What the? Yeah. What the? What the? No, Got you. Not, what the? What the? Not the perfect kickboxing. That's not perfect. All right, let's try something else. You ready? Watch this one. Three steps. One, two, and then. Uh, call the right option in this case, but obviously do not try this at home. I'm uh, right highly option. trained in the arts martial, so I could do this effectively. The but the point martial. to mention is that, you know, to bridge that gap between the non-physical to the physical, you've got dancing, you've got massage, you've got just, you know, getting closer, a little play fighting, tiggling, all of this stuff does it. So. Yeah, I, would, I would say watch where you're throwing her, potentially, if you're going to be making this a regular occurrence, but... Not on a spiked bed or... Yeah, yeah. Maybe then not. Can you fight? Do you do any...? Yeah, I can do judo, actually. Hmm. Amazing. Watch out. Judo. What the...? <laughs> <laughs> this is mad. We only just met. You know, that's true. But I don't know about you, but to me, everything just feels really right say that this is not this is so cool that you're both sober and she's spontaneous and not boring try to beat your sex speed run record and get her to sign a contract this is literally what they're trying Why to waste enforce money on the game on how not to be an in cell when you can just get the new waifu vr Simulator on Steam complete with peripheral support or give up on dating women. Start going to the gym, hit the weights, and then have steamy showers with the boys. Yeah. Pretty good. Teddy Talent Heels, please. Tito, the Gato, RSN, GGNSR. Welcome back. Welcome. Pickle Chip, Fru. Offlo, Anoka Parian, Aaronful, and Aristopolis. Thank you, dudes. That's a one year on Aaronful, by the way. I hate Peppa. Welcome to Uganda. <sighs> what are you? <laughs> this one. What's that? Yo, what's up, Twitch? Yep, we're nearly at that moment. I'm gonna go for it and beat my speed run. We're looking for 30 seconds. What are you doing? In there, bam, bam, bam. I finished kidding? within 30 seconds. Guys, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Dr. Disrespect, big shout out. We're gonna beat your view really? count today. Yeah, yeah, Are you babe. me? Wait, wait. Oh, $500. I don't wanna be on your Thank movie. Oh, sorry. Hey, the pledge. Thank thing. you, thank you very much. Davey, 207. No, no, 30 seconds, babe. I've got my time already. It's the record. Well, like 31 seconds is the record. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. What, what? Ready, ready. Wait, stop. No, um, oh my god, what are you doing? Like, maybe Quick, babe. Three seconds, four Crazy seconds. Okay, first split complete. No force or doubt. So, guys, um, we'll try again next week or tomorrow, but soon. Didn't work, and uh, I'll be back on Fortnite. Just give me a minute. Oh my god. What the fuck? Something was wrong with this one. Um, definitely shouldn't live stream your sex, right? You think? I think it's against the terms and conditions. Right. Terms and conditions. Get her to sign a contract. This is, as I was, I was saying this before, but this is literally what they're, they've been talking about in Sweden. Politically. What are you? I almost forgot. Look, we need to do this. I've got a contract here. Hang on a second, I'll explain everything, right? What's that? So what we've got, we've got this contract. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just the terms, right? So we need to get this uh, consent. It's basically a consent form, just that you agree to f perform various services. We've got normal sex. It's not got the anal sex. I was, it's first, we don't need that in there. I Blowjob is optional. That's, that's uh, clause sexy. two, paragraph three. Darling, we can't be sexy anymore. It's affirmative consent. So, you know, just just to run through it with you, basically, uh, is sex between twenty and forty minutes. You know, don't worry about that. That's gonna be good. 
Uh, blowjob optional, anal, like I said, it's not in there. Um, we've got a few different... We're going to start on the couch, obviously, then I think this kitchen table. Uh, that's Five in there. Babies. Yeah, but don't worry, it's insured, so if anything breaks, you're covered. No, I don't feel and, like um, signing it anymore, and I don't feel like signing, signing it anymore. Well, well, what? I understand <laughs> it's not very sexy, darling, but these days you know, we need to cover ourselves. Okay, we don't want. I'll send him my lawyer, okay? Tomorrow okay. he will come. <sighs> Hmm, maybe it's too strict, maybe. So the formal paperwork drawn up by the team of lawyers. Just a big no-no. Okay, so serious one, uh -huh. very serious. What do guys do about consent? You know what? I think that if two people are naturally progressing to that point, you know, with honesty, with kindness, with respect to one another, then it's going to naturally progress that progress. I don't think you need necessarily a verbal exchange. That's mm -hmm. going to, that's not going to kill the tension a little bit. And it's not romantic. Mm -hmm. But if she says no or is well, obviously uncomfortable if she says at no any and point, it's uncomfortable, then that's a stop. Mm -hmm. Cool. There you go. You know what's cool? It's the daytime, we're not drunk, so we have this real connection. Yeah? Right. So this is one of those situations where she could see it as either weird and something that shouldn't happen, or if you paint it as something cool and spontaneous and interesting and different and happening for the right reasons, then she's more likely to see it that way too. But if you kind of let the doubt go too long, then she might just say, this is weird, what are we doing? Yeah, you need to be confident with your actions, for sure. When they were talking about diversity, were they making a joke and just putting all the diversity in that room and not in the, the actual game? <laughs> Leave. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this even... <laughs> okay, guys, let me tell you this. I'm not going back again because I can't skip stuff, okay? I'm not going back in this chapter again. You have one choice here. You have one choice. Ah, it looks very even to me. I like this one. <laughs> Is it B? Okay, maybe it's B. Okay, it's B. After I said, after I said there's only one option, I mean, because this is gonna end it. It's not you. Go, you can't pick this and then this. So. Wait. Are they? They must be thinking. Okay. Nice one. Obviously, the perfect choice. Best choice in the game. Well done. Thank you for helping. Great. Yes. Well, it's absolutely a woman's prerogative. Whatever you choose, as long as it's your decision, and you're happy with it. That's great. There are no wrong answers. This is a nice way to start because if you catch her attention before you actually walk up, uh, she has a chance to kind of get used to the fact that you're going to be talking to her. And if you kind of just walk up and she hasn't noticed you, it's a bit of a surprise when you start talking. Casanova. Start walking, so it's a better way when you can do it. Yeah, I think it's also a little bit romantic. What is the latest or earliest time that I can have champagne? Oh. I don't know. I can't go back to a specific scene. This one I actually Super quite like because it's a way to talk about sex and Wait. also imply that you're good in bed. And by this point, it's maybe not. If I restart level, to, I restart the whole thing, right? In the conversation. So it's not something I would personally do, but I think it's okay. It wouldn't be a killer. Wouldn't be a killer, no. If I start the whole thing, um, I'm not going to bother, right but option in this I want to know what the other routine is. Do not try this at home. I'm uh, highly trained in... Nice one. Obviously the perfect choice. Best choice in the game. Well done. Thank you for helping. Uh, okay. 
Okay. This one I actually quite like because it's a. Uh, I have to do the whole thing. Okay. Well, we beat it. Uh, next chapter. Easy peasy. It's dangerous territory, but the workplace is still a common place for relationships to begin. How do you successfully navigate and avoid getting fired or sent to jail? Wait, we can get sent to jail? I mean, assuming you're not doing, you know, sexual offenses. But just for flirting, you can get fired, I guess, or... Date your secretary. Okay. Sit there, patchy. I think a little thing. bit. A little bit, got some serious problems. Uh, Sorry. Okay. How's your business going? It's going really well. Yeah. We're doing uh, product design now. Really? Furniture design, oh, yes. Why is your secretary at home? two prototypes and they seem to be really nice. Oh, Everybody brilliant. likes them. But more importantly, how many followers you got on your Honestly Design Instagram? Because that's more important than of money course. and contracts. Just 1,000 at the moment, but I that's hope we get good. more. Thousand. Wicked. Amazing. I'm sorry I missed your birthday. I'm just, oh, yeah. the office, you know, it's a bit nuts at the moment. Okay, it was really nice party. Mm. Yes. Sorry I wasn't there, but, but it's not all bad. Because I've got a present for you. You do? Yeah. You ready? I think so. Gift a game on Steam. Voucher for yoga lessons. Raccoon. The fuck? Damn right. Look, you've been wasting a lot of time with this uh, design business. So I've got your present. In you've got a Steam account now. And Steam I've, account? Yeah, and I've gifted you this game. Check it out. Mm. It's my game. <laughs> So basically you're a dick, balls and an asshole, and you need to take your dick and fuck the other asshole. It's called genital My jousting. Dick. Yeah. I thought it's your kind of thing, because you like... Mm. Can't play that on, <laughs> yeah? on uh, you Twitch. Like it? Because I like, like dicks, yeah? Well, who doesn't, right? Mm. It's bad. Mm, I don't think I understand it. So oh, what am I supposed play it together. to do? Well, you control the dick, you know, you go around to get to the asshole, fuck the asshole. The other guy's trying to do it to you and... You know, you can play multiplayer mm. and all that. Very exciting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very intellectual as well. Mm, I think my design is interesting. Couldn't you do some design, interior design or product design? Hey. Game nah, design? this is super clever. Oh, this is what you... Shit, man, that's what I do. You okay. know me. Mm. I like this one too. Do you like it? Give me computer game? Why didn't that one? Steam. Computer game. Mm-hmm. I mean, she might love computer games. I could be wrong. She could love them, in which case it's a great gift. Mm -hmm. What well, if she doesn't? A, well, then it's not a good gift if she doesn't like computer what games. What if she doesn't, but you want her to like them? Then I think you're kind of... No, it's still not very good. It's a very selfish present. OK, what if it's my game and you gift it this holiday season? What if she doesn't have something to play out on? What if it's my game and you gift it this holiday season? Oh, it's the best present ever! Is that the right answer? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is great, you know, and I'm happy we can still be friends after, um, you know, when we had sex. Yeah? yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. That time, yeah. like in my you house, remember? and we had some jinx, and yeah. when you just broke up, and. Yeah? You remember? Yeah. I, yeah? I, yeah, I see that, what, you, what you mean. Okay. Yes. okay. Uh, uh, anyway, look, guess what? Um, tomorrow I've got this uh, new secretary starting in my office. It's a I big day, yeah. Oh, yeah. she good? Oh, she's really smart. I think she's going to be great, yeah? I oh, hope so. hope mm -hmm. she can work it out. Mm -hmm. Why are you saying Mahmoud? Is Mahmoud the secretary? Sarah? Could you come in, please? Okay, well, it's your first day at work, so we should get you started with something. Nothing too hard. 
Let me ask you to create a situation in order to surreptitiously check out her ass. To take your dirty laundry to the dry cleaners, ask her to fax some contracts and rearrange a meeting. Sexually show her how to staple properly. Tell her you can't focus on working on work because you're thinking about fucking her. <laughs> I know. Look, I've got some uh, files, yeah? I just had this big pile. It was really disorganized. And if you can organize them, it would be great. So just into different, you know, mm -hmm. piles okay. or whatever, like, you know, the FDA stuff, the different... Uh, various things. So I've just put them all on the floor because there wasn't much space on this big desk. So oh, okay. do you think you can do yeah, it? I'll yeah, I'll do that. Just um, um, get in there and... No space on the desk. What are you? You got them? Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, um... Actually, they're not that important. Just uh, put them somewhere in your desk. Um, okay. All right, thank you. So, Charlotte, this is actually a true story from my office days. When uh -huh. I was uh, 18 true years story. old, I worked for a software company called Autonomy in right. Cambridge, England. And the director put a bunch of stuff in the corner and then asked the sexy temp to kind of pick it up and he was just watching her do it. So it's actually a true story. And but she was just being fired and helpful in the office. She had to do it. So what's she going to say? No, I'm not going to pick it up. But everyone kind of knew that it was uh, a way to just check out her I'm off. sure they told her as well. So is that a good thing for a boss to do? No. Don't well, I suppose do she it. doesn't know, but don't obviously do it because you're a nice gentleman. Very bad. Cap. Mr. Lorena, I've got a lot of mail today. What should I do with it? Wait. It worked. <laughs> okay. Educational stream. Correct tone to take with her. Professional because it's an office. Sexual because it's your company and you can do whatever you want. If it's his company, what does have such a little office? Flirty and cheeky to plant the seed of a relationship. Filthy. Oh, sorry. Other fli okay. Flirty and cheeky. This is the, probably the right answer. You know what? It's kind of the wrong question. Like, what you should do with mail? Because mm, the goal. Not so important. It's that all was the about goal, how right? we do things here. You see, I'm the boss. Everything you see and everyone you see belongs to me. And here's how I run things. We're all like a family. I like this photo, though. A family that I fucks. Lie. Right? So I need you to be more so sexual. Yeah, listen. You open in the mail. Oh, sexual. Put in for a call. Mr. La Marina, I've got a call for you. And I'm going to fuck you later. Here's your call. This kind of stuff stop is it. what okay, we need. Stop it, okay? Stop it. I'm just if beginning, you want darling. This, you can do I that yourself, it. really. I like it. She's fiery. What a great hire. Sleazy boss, not the way, right? Never the way if mm -hmm. you're looking for a relationship. This is the right one. It's a lot of mail, yeah? Yeah. Quite big? Yeah, big. Yeah. I know what you could do with it. What? Just arrange it. You think you could do that? Yes, sure. Yeah, I bet you could. Yep. Okay. Well, go on then. What the fuck? 
I wasn't expecting that amount of creepy, but I guess. Normally it's okay, obviously, to be flirty and cheeky. Um, in the office, you have a few reasons why not to do that. So one that I would give is that um, you're going to be exposed over time, so you don't need to rush it, and you can kind of wait till you sense that there's something there. Yeah, you don't want to rush into it, get the wrong idea. <laughs> You should be professional. Absolutely. Yeah, and she'll lose respect if you're not you professional. You're sorting algorithms in his head. Mr. Lorena. Yeah, what's going on? I have Thomas Green on the phone for you. No, wait, wait. Hey, hey, Thomas, how you doing, buddy? No, 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 that's just rumors started by short sellers. You know what those guys do, pushing down the share price. 3,000%. <laughs> uh, no, 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 we only raised the price on that drug 2,800 and something, 823, something like that. But it was really just so we can, you know, do better R&D and create more life-saving drugs. Why is he no. being defensive uh, fake with news. the, Look, that's fake news. the I, price I've got increase? Go. I've got a meeting. Yes, yes, I understand. Martin. Another time. Martin. Thank you very much for your call. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye. It's a efficient strat. Sarah. Get in here, please. You motherfucker. What are you? Tell her it's totally fine. No biggie. Make her cry to teach her a lesson. Tell her it's not a big problem, but to be more careful in the future. Tell her to book a hotel for you at lunchtime to make it up to you. See. Is the obvious one. This Thomas Green guy is on the list of people that you don't put through. He's an annoying prick journalist. All right. Mm -hmm. Now there's going to be some article about how we're raising drug prices and all this shit again. What I want you to do. Go and book a hotel for lunchtime, you? bang your brains out, and then maybe you'll work a little bit better after that, okay? All right, go and book the hotel and get okay. ready. Maybe wear some sexy underwear or something. <laughs> Shit, fucking the hotel. Hello, Mr. Beckham. Um, I have a delicate situation here. Uh, Mr. Lorena offered me to book a hotel room to have sex with him. Um, I'll Snitches get text stitch. you the details, okay? Time to bring in super Will soldiers. You meet us there? Okay, thank you so much. This is a... Um True story from my office life. Really? Yeah, the boss um, to bring in took the sex story away at lunchtime. Everyone knew about it. What are you? Huh. Cap. What are you? Do you realize what you just done? You put through this fucking guy, Thomas Green. He's on the do not answer list, right? 20 people are on there. All these shitty journalists, all trying to dig and find out stuff and publish shitty articles. And you put him straight through to me, the CEO. Do you know how uncomfortable that was for me? It's my first week. It's going to be your fucking last week if you carry on with this shit. Your job is easy. You answer the phone, you do some filing, you do emails. It's not rocket science. Oh, you're crying now. Well, fuck off out of it. And if you answer the phone again and put these fuckers through, I'll cut your hand off Step and send to you to Saudi in. Arabia. So I'll piss off. The most it would be more efficient to do it the other way around, no? He wouldn't have Bad to do the hand cutting for yeah. himself. Don't need to make her cry, right? Never make anyone cry. What about me? I might cry. Deadly bacon, C Tosio, the dice that P on the rim, Jamie H, Circus, Cherno, Metal Thunder, Samuel Lowe, E Low, 
my annoying exam hockey stream and no tours thank you boys welcome no biggie this is the right Sarah do you know what you just did yeah this guy Thomas Green is a real asshole okay so he's on the list you've got it there somewhere in your desk right yeah. you know that one 20 people not to yes, put through all right he's gonna probably write a bad article or whatever don't worry, you just started. Everyone can make one or two mistakes, it's all right. But in future, just, you know, your job is basically to protect me from all these nasty people. My mum put them through straight away. Certain people put them through straight away. Thomas Green, sorry, he's busy. He's always busy, he's in a meeting, he's out, that kind of thing, right? But don't worry too much, just, you know, be careful. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That's I'll be all right. more careful in the future. Okay, don't worry about it. What about it, man? Bitch. That's the right option, you know, in, uh, in any kind of um, office environment, if someone's working for you, you want to give them a chance. If they make the same dumb mistake three times, obviously it's too much, but, you know, everyone's welcome to make a mistake or two. Yeah, and again, he's acting professionally, you know, you respect him in his position. Time. Mr. Lorena. Yeah? You have three meetings coming up today. Okay. First one with the FDA guy. All right, I'm going to need the money bag for that one. Okay. The second the one with R&D manager. Okay. Cash in He's the useless. Year. What's the next one? And the last one is with Phil Beckman. Okay. Now, you know, I told you about Phil, right? He's very, very important. He's invested even more money. He's up to over a billion with us. So you know how he likes his coffee. He likes the little biscuit, all of that stuff. So just keep him happy. You know what to do. Sure. Over a billion? <laughs> I would upgrade my fucking office if I were you, dude. I can transparent cubicle smaller than my apartment. <laughs> Tell her some juicy gossip about the marketing director. Tell her to wear more sexy clothes to work. Give her a personal task to perform for you and reveal some personal info. Tell her you had a really sexy dream about her and describe it in graphic detail. I would say that A is the right answer. But Twitch chat wants this. I've seen you reading those magazines there. Um, do you know anything about dream analysis? Yeah, I do. Yeah, like that stuff, like if, you're, what is it, if your teeth fall out in your dream, then you're going to die or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Well, help what? me with this. I, I had a dream last night. You're going to die? I was lying on the beach. I get that Eyes dream. closed, sun beating down, sound of the waves, Shit. giant erection. And then I just heard some footsteps. Someone pulled down my shorts. Then they sat on my dick started riding and I heard your voice and then I opened my eyes BAM! There you were. Well, what do you think that dream means? This is so, so disgusting. Yeah, what does it mean? It means go fuck yourself, okay? <laughs> Got it. Hmm. That's one interpretation. We should have gone with the okay. Ligma joke. Completely inappropriate. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Well, I didn't know there is a game that simulates the Riot Games working experience. Riot Games? What? Did I miss something juicy? I'm not a, a particular league follower. Yeah, something juicy. Wait, wait, wait. Everyone fucking relax here. This is how Gross Gore got banned in the first place. Okay? He was talking shit about League of Legends. But that was back when League of Legends actually was big on Twitch. Now it's all about Fortnite. Maybe they don't have the same amount of power. Even Dota has more successful tournaments. Either way. 
You can fill me in on the juicy bits after. On the juicy bits. Hockey stream, no tours, Foxy, Flying Moose, Swahili, Jizuri, Nerf My Thumbs, Spookman, and Luxury Angst. Thank you, boys. Sonic Electronic Donuts stream says, I like how no one gives a shit that you were that you were with the blonde woman having tea and cakes and then just ran off with a different chick. What the fuck is this game about? Plus, this guy is an absolute specimen. Yeah, I mean, we can't get all the endings. I mean, you can, but there's no skip to that point, so it's kind of like... A bit obnoxious. You've been working here for a while now, Sarah, and I've noticed something. It's a little bit personal, but basically these outfits you're wearing, they're not really working, okay? You look like a cross between Hillary Clinton and that Angela Merkel German one, you know? So we're going to have to sort this out. I need you to take the skirt up quite a lot. You know, I need just a little bit of arse cheek to be visible. And I oh, don't know what to do upstairs. I mean, you've got some boobs, right? Push up bra, low cut top, pum. There we go. All right. You can have some budget from the company to go shopping. You know what? Yeah. You have to send an official request to the HR department first. HR department? Fuck that. It's my company. I'll tell them right now. Sarah, get HR. HR. Sarah, Sally, get in Sally, get in here. Sally, the what HR one. Get her someone. Of course, the HR one is called Sally. This could be a problem with uh, HR and maybe... Um, yeah, I'd be on the phone to HR pretty quickly. Could it escalate, right? Definitely, and it's not going to end well for him. <laughs> he runs HR. <laughs> now that's winning. This is the right one. Sarah, you know what, this, um, yeah, I can tell you. You know Dominic, marketing director? Yeah, I know. Oh, shit, this is amazing, check this out. You know he's got all these tailored suits, like uh, linen and silk and all that, yeah? yeah. Lots of nice suits. Yes, this We've is all the right one. Where does he get such nice Fuck suits? Idiots. He's banging the tailor. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. That, you know that old man? This works. Yeah. yeah. He makes amazing suits, thousands of dollars. He gets them for free because he bums him. Can you believe it? I mean, don't tell anyone, but I just wanted you to know because it's quite important. Oh, okay. Cool, yeah? She likes it. All right, get back to work. <laughs> don't tell him I told you. So, what do you think? Gossip? No, it's just unprofessional. Again, you don't start off... You want to gain the respect as being the boss, if he is the boss, or if he's higher than her in the, in the office environment. And no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advocate bitching about your office partners. And in general, even like colleagues is bad, isn't it? Because if you're telling a story about someone else, then that person is gonna think, well, what do they say about me? Precisely. Good morning, Sarah. Morning, Mr. Lorena. Oh, call me Richard. Okay. This is why my streamer, you Ask when was the last time she had a proper seeing to in the bedroom. Talk about her weekend, how her weekend was. Complain that you had to work over the weekend to get sympathy. Talk about a girl you fucked over the weekend with explicit details. Explicit details. That's so how was your weekend? It was good. Yeah? You know, mine, it was hard in many ways, right? Because first I had to do all this, um, you know, finishing the investor presentation, all that rubbish. But Saturday night, this chick came around, Dorothy, oh my God, her body's amazing. God, obviously she came to bang, so that was all as Dorothy. usual. But get this, she wanted it up her ass. She was, so we had oh, anal. Well, no, yeah, no, yeah. But do you it. do it? Do you like anal? No. Do you like, you don't like it? Maybe no. try. I'm going to take you to court for that. All right, as long as it's after we do it, then I don't mind. Take the court for that. It's normal office conversation, no? What? I don't think so. Uh, and certainly not the explicit details. This ain't the fucking ah, US. That's the problem. This is Russia, motherfucker. It's every day. Ask when was the last time she had a proper sync team? Which is the right one? 
this one is the right one. Do you have a good weekend? Yeah, I do. Listen, I wanted to ask you, when was the last time you got fucked properly? You know, like, really, really well. Excuse me? And you're me? like, yeah. Huh? That's none of your business. Well, you work for me, so I make it my business. True. So I actually heard a guy ask um, a girl this question. Mm. He actually said, when was the last time you were fucked properly? Um, it's quite clear why this is red. Yeah, right. definitely. Is it though? Why? Red games employer situation. So there's some... I kind of want to read about this, but uh, probably TLDR is too long, <laughs> even. Uh, B Dumbass. No, this one. How was your weekend? It was good. Yeah, that's good. My weekend was pretty lame. I had to do this investor's report, you know, Bill Backman and all these really? guys, yeah, all the graphs and that, and I'm yeah. just doing the numbers, the revenue for the third quarter, uh, forecast for the fourth quarter. Gross profit models. I don't know. Just the life or uh, these okay. legal contracts I really had to hard, sign. Man. So oh, you try yeah, really it's hard. Monday, yeah. but I'm just exhausted what to be honest. Poor you. Yeah, I feel like I need a spa, relax, but just can't rest. Got more to do. Wait, today. are they ruining? Are you ruining my Probably chances now by taking it. the wrong answer? <laughs> no. Sympathy is an attraction builder. <laughs> not really. Not something that works, especially um, you know, boss showing a little bit. Uh, vulnerability is good, but not whining. No, we don't like whining. Yeah, I don't like whining. Sarah, either. how long have you been working I didn't for? I know you were no. whining. Oh, for three weeks. Yeah, about three weeks, right? Look, I think you're doing great so far. You know, Thank everything's you. cool, pretty much. And I just wanted to know, like, what are you looking for in general in your career? Like, what? How do you want to develop? Well, my main goal is to learn and develop and mm -hmm. I want to get as much knowledge as possible in all areas of the business. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm very happy. Good. Good for you. Give her career advice and mentor her. Back when I used to be a secretary, I would give blowjobs to advance. Tell her that she, tell her that she working, tell her that the working world is really for men and that she should be focused on finding a husband. Tell her she needs to set her sights lower. Tell her that she gets an A plus for filing and an F minus for sucking your dick. You know, it's a bit difficult because on one hand, you're very good. Yeah, nice telephone voice. Hello, Fourth this is Sarah. I see through your Richard marketing Co. Employee. Lovely, all of that you stuff. Right Filing, answer, but you A to Z, the most perfect. Answer, milk but content. we've got problems. L -O -M -E -G -A -L -U -L. You know? Conference call. Listen, I wanted to pick only the right answers and Chad said, no, we pick one wrong answer first. Uh, question from Morgan Stanley. Why aren't you there so. sucking my dick under the table? Excuse the one me? Yeah, himself you need to improve. Otherwise, you can be secretary forever. Go fuck yourself, you're so disgusting. What's this, your diary where you talk about me? It's her passport. What you? Yeah, it's just some up. shit meetings and stuff. Shit meetings. This one a bit crude? Yeah, really crude. Next time. Oh, right, right. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Here, there's another one, dude. Here. Here you go. What the fuck? What are you? Sarah, you know what? I think you're taking all this a little bit too seriously. I mean, you're a secretary. You're not really going to be more than that. Why don't you just think about your life outside, right? Like, find a man, have a little baby. Little baby Sarah, ding ding ding, you know, all this stuff. Because how old are ding, you? Ding ding ding. 22. 22. Do you have a man? 
No. Oh, God. I mean, you need to hurry up, find a man, get married, have babies. You're a woman, after all. You're you know? such a sexist pig. I know. Cheers. All right, well, I hope that was useful. She's right. So, right. misogynic, Miss Dick. Misogynic, stick, dick, trick. Misogynist. misogynist. He's a special man. He's a misogynist. He's and a misogynist. this is why it doesn't work. And in general, should a woman uh, focus on her career or have a family? Completely up to her. No, I'm cool. Thank you. Completely up to her. Right answer. Sarah, you know what? Um, the person that had your job before you, they're actually doing really well now in another business. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of opportunities. I, I didn't know you had that kind of ambition, but here's what I can do. You know, we've got all the different departments here, everything from IT to marketing to the research and development guys. So why don't I invite yeah. you to more meetings, more events, and that way you're just gonna learn about all the different sides of the business. And we can see what you like, see how things go, and yeah, maybe maybe we can find something better for you in the future. How does that sound? Really good, thank you. Really good. That's the right option, and for all guys that are kind of older and have a lot of experience and you know, maybe in a, in a good job or just have some amount of knowledge, uh, demonstrating that is always attractive, I would say. Yes, it shows that he's ambitious and he's also ambitious for her as well. Sarah, are you there? Yes, Richard. Invite her to a fancy business networking event tomorrow. Ask what she's wearing right now. You can fucking see her. What do you mean? Jerk off while on the phone to her. Well, this is obviously the right one. But we'll try this first. Sarah, tell me, what kind of food do you like? Food? Yeah, yeah just tell me. Um, I don't know. I like rice. Do you like lollipops? No. What's that sound? Nothing. Just keep talking. Tell me something else. Um, well, I'm on speaker and with Phil Beckham at the moment. With who, sorry? Phil Beckham. Okay, cool. All right, catch you later, yeah? Bye. Who? This actually happened. Really? Yeah, uh, Louis C.K. Oh. Louis C.K. Was that what he did? Wait. I might need to remember here. No. He was doing something at a show. Welcome to Uganda. What did he do again? Masturbating in conference room. Give me, give me, give me. He did a lot of things. He flashed chicks in a hotel room. He flashed. Oh. <laughs> what happened to him? No. I think I saw like a Netflix special of him not too long ago. Oh. I don't know, but the thing goes. Skrrr. Sarah, what are you wearing right now? Um, one moment. What color underwear? Can you check the label, Mr. Brand Lorena? Cooler, brand cooler, brand cooler, abort. What? A little bit <laughs> loose oh. behavior. Not appropriate in the office, right? Definitely not appropriate in the office. Not appropriate. Sarah, are you free tomorrow? There's this brilliant networking event. We've got a lot of industry bigwigs there. It's going to be super, super cool. Do you want yeah. to come? Yeah, of course. Thank you for the opportunity. Anytime. Okay, great. She seemed excited. Not. 
So this is cool because it's kind of um, blurring the line a little <laughs> bit between office and the social. And you can do it with uh, after work game drinks, convention. or you could do it with a team building event or uh, a business trip, but a networking event would be another option. But it still what keeps it unprofessional, uh, just in case. Time to bring in super Since soldiers. In tomorrow, Lord Shagrath, say logistic contenta, pink man, Eucharist, Papa Cap TV, it's Blizzards, the cookie show, pickpocket, Okami with the one year. Thank you very much, enjoy your badge, Shaka TV, GATX, thank you boys. How to behave on the networking event. I played cool when they're. Be slightly flirty, get drunk, and make a move. Play it cool. Hey, there are no take backs on this shit. And Nina said that it's hard to get her late. So we gotta pick the right option. <laughs> this one. There are no take backs. Do you want to win or do you not want to win? A is right. No, A is not right. Is A right? B is right. B is right. So it's the first time out of the office, slightly flirty. Um, it could go both ways, really. A bit risky, maybe. Yeah, maybe not great for longevity, but then, I don't know. It just depends on the woman, maybe. It's also that it's the first time, yeah. right? So to kind of get through that in a professional way is... I, I think, think it's a best. big tick, if you can do that. Don't fuck it up. So... You went to the event with Mr. Larina? Yes, I did. Did anything happen? Um, no, it was fine. Uh, he was kind of flirting, but I guess that was just the drinks. <sighs> he probably drinks too much. Yeah, maybe. Snitches get stitches. Okay, marketing team. It's the weekly strategy meeting. I want to get it kicked off in a great way. So. Who has a fantastic idea? Mr. Laruina. Gerald. Not even okay, logged in. One. I've been working on a proposal to increase our Facebook and Instagram likes. I have a three posts a day with defining quotes, health tips, and pictures of the people with the disease and whatnot. Um, we think it'll get good traction in the social media, so we'll gain a lot of shares, would we'll increase our likes. I'll send some concepts. Uh, what do you think about this idea? Uh, it's about going to be cost about fifteen thousand dollars per month budget to get up to hundred thousand followers within six months. Fifteen thousand donors. It's a lot of donors. Don't know if that's ethnical. Give him a big slap and fire him. Fuck. <laughs> Wank into the plant pot. Humiliate the guy for his stupid idea. Smartly persuade everyone to your view. Agree with the guy because your secretary agrees. Welcome to Uganda. <laughs> okay, Gerald. Welcome right, the rest of you. Uganda. So you want to see what happens if you bring me this kind of fucking dog shit ideas, yeah? Look what happens to Gerald and this is going to be you. Right, you cunt. You're fucking fired. More than that, you can fuck off, all right? Take your shit and get out. Five minutes. Security, take this wanker out. Jared, how are you? Are, are you okay? Are you sure you're okay? Should have been logged in when the boss is watching. Welcome to Uganda. That's how you do it at an office, right? Pretend to work. Stupid idea, but too much, eh? Ah, oh, too much. How does it know it's a stupid idea? Did anyone actually understand the idea?
Do you want to know what I think of that idea, Gerald? Everyone, you want to know? Yeah, was it a good idea? Do you want to know? All right, check it out. Gerald, this plant is your idea. You I'll show you what I think of your fucking idea, yeah? <sighs> Get back to work. We call him Blue Seal. <laughs> Not a single fuck was given that day. What are you? So this is a Harvey move, Harvey Weinstein. Ew. Bad for the plant, yeah? Anti-plant, mainly is. Anti-plant, anti-everything. Is it bad for the plant? I don't know. I'm not a fucking scientist. Congratulations, Gerald. For the fucking stupidest idea I've ever heard in this office, you fucking marketing team. Look how many of you. I want one good idea, I get this bullshit. Sarah, you don't need notes for this shit. Look, next person that comes up with some fucking shit like this is fired. All right, Gerald, you think about that, all right? So, stupid idea. Obviously, the boss has the power to humiliate. And I remember in the company I worked in, uh, the boss used to scream, ah, come in my office, whoever it was. Come in, I remember he made my boss cry. She came out crying, so there are definitely some bosses that do it. Yeah, you don't want someone who can abuse their power, really. What? No. It doesn't show he good He made your traits. boss cry. No, so humiliate, not usually correct. Get into my office, uh, and you make the boss cry. Hey, morning. Morning. How are you doing? You good, and you? Oh, I'm all right. I'm a little bit embarrassed, though, that um, I've got a massive wine stain Wait, on, what? on my shirt. Wait. Disaster, yeah. I mean, it wasn't exactly my fault. It was busy, but we don't need that kind of thing, you know? Wine stains are just never never a good look. Do you think they'll be able to get it out of the dry cleaners? Uh, yeah, OK, all sure. Right. You didn't tell anyone, did you? Like, oh, Richard's done a mm, wine no. stain. No, 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 I didn't. All right, cool. How was the business trip for you, apart from that? Uh, it was great. It was great to see those speeches, and thanks for the opportunity. Use referencing the business trip to find out if she's single. Say she needs to add me on Facebook as company policy. Ask if she's single. Ask if she liked any men at the event and tell her why they are useless. So what did you think of the event? Overall? It was great. Yeah? yeah? What about my speech? It was really good. Yeah, yeah. What did you think of the other speeches? Well, I liked one guy, Robert Johnson. Uh, he talked about SMM. Mm, pretty boring, no? That speech? Mm, no. I'll tell you something about him. His Excel tables. Mm -mm -mm. Pretty, pretty shit, to be honest. What? <laughs> yeah. mm, I don't think so. How about how he looked? Like, what he looked okay. Okay, well, guess what? I went to the bathroom, he was there next to me. Somehow I looked, I don't know. Tiny little dick. Mine's much bigger. So. Oh my god, you're so mean. Yeah. But what you it, what you, is your problem? You don't want to fuck him now though, do you? Yeah? Great job. Boom, Excel tables. Tiny dick. We call him oh, Blue Seal. Rival gone. To be fair, if you're good at fucking Excel, you can go and suck a dick. So it's always unattractive in this situation to be, shit. you know, kind of uh, getting jealous about other guys, right? It's yeah. good to just be cool. Yeah. You don't want to start off being jealous. It's not attractive. Mm -hmm. It's not attractive. Better? Better, stronger. Time to bring in super soldiers. This is the right one. 
We were away for a few days. You know, is that okay with with everything? Like, yeah, it's okay. You don't have cats to feed. No, no, I don't. Boyfriend didn't miss you too much. I don't have a boyfriend. You don't? Okay, great. So um, I can Cash invite you on even longer trips, in. right? Like if we needed to go to different yeah, conferences sure. in different countries and stuff. Okay, great. All right, let's get back to work. Success. That's cool, nice one. Uh, it's kind of a, a little bit of a sneaky way to do it because if you ask directly, does she have a boyfriend, it's highly inappropriate, wouldn't you say? Yeah, definitely. Even though it's been quite a while, I think it's still important that you act professionally. And yeah, if it's done in a smooth manner, then I think you can get away with this one. A smooth criminal. Sarah, can you come in? Richard, do you need anything? Yeah, I just wanted to share the good news. Have you seen the Wall Street Journal today? No. Ah, it's brilliant. Those short sellers Fake got news. fucked. We smashed them. It's brilliant. Really? Yeah, yeah. Share price is up. Guy lost over a billion. Everyone's redeeming their funds, taking money out. He's in big trouble now. Everything's brilliant. Congratulations. Yeah, we need to do something to celebrate. Taking their money out? What do you mean? That's not how it works. <laughs> they have to put money into the company. If they're short sellers. Tell her that you are not finished with those cocksuckers. Cocksuckers. Smack her on the ass and thank her for support. Take credit and tell her to book me a spa day. Give her a thousand dollars and tell her to buy something fancy. S to buy some fancy snacks and wine for everyone. Wine for the Weinstein. Uh, tell her that you're finished with those cocksuckers. Let's arrange like a team dinner, yeah? Just take everyone out, say thank you for everything. I'm telling you, I'm not finished with those guys. Yeah? Well, what do you mean? These short sellers. We're going to take them to the fucking This might be the right answer, actually. We're going to take not every bad. penny, right? <laughs> We're going to go after their families, their family's family, and their this family's right family's answer. family's family's family. Do, family. Isn't right. that too much? We're going to squeeze them till they bleed out of their asses. All right? So don't think this is over. This war has only just begun. I'm going to crush them little fucks. You have to say a statement. Um, Make a statement. May I leave now? Yeah, sure. Just uh, look up some addresses. Get their mother's home numbers. It's a little bit of competitiveness, probably it's okay. A bad thing, yeah. Crushing, killing, destroying, pummeling, grinding into dust. Yeah, it just gets a bit much, doesn't it? Fuck, that was the Richard, word. Yeah? everything is arranged. Oh, great. Thank you. Really? Yeah, um, I just wanted to tell you something you that I really like it when you're relaxed because you seemed really stressed lately. Professional, more informal, sleazy. I mean, this is obviously the right one. Yeah, I feel relaxed. I feel happy. It's, it's that feeling like at the end of an erotic massage where you just jizzed everywhere. And you just have that calm, that zen. Ah. No, Do you know what I mean? N no. No? You no, don't like erotic massages? No. Hmm. Should get one for her. Bonus. I'm thinking this isn't the best approach to take on that evening. Uh huh. Be more professional, yeah? Professional, yep. Gentlemanly, these are other things. Well, sleazy's. Never good. Never good. I can't think of an occasion where that would work out for you. Yeah, you know what, Sarah? I was really stressed, and I'm sorry if I was a bit sharp with you at times or anything like that. You know, it happens. But now we're in a good time, so all is it well. Happens. And I think you bring this calm to the office, and it oh, definitely helps it's so the nice atmosphere. so nice to hear that. Yeah, you have a great energy. Thank you. Good vibes. Excellent. Well done. Thank you. Sarah, you know what? What? 
Tell her it's time to add some new responsibility to her job. Push her against the wall and kiss her. Call the inviter on a date. You know what? I think you're ready for some new responsibilities. Would you agree? You've been working here a while. I don't know. All right, got something for you. I don't know. Are you ready? Secretary oh of the God. year. Oh my God! No, 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 no! What's going on? Someone, your... please help! You've got to do it. No, no, You've no! Someone, it. please help You're not me! Getting out. Here. No, I just, I just want to go home. No, no, you ain't please. going home. That was totally diabolical. Absolutely ridiculous. I like this one too. Do you like it? Give me computer game. Good job, Chad. Computer game. Mm -hmm. I mean, she might love computer games. I could be wrong. She could love them, in which case it's a great gift. Good job, well, Chad. Chad. Well, then it's not a good gift if she doesn't like computer games. Well, if games. she doesn't, but you want her to like them. Then... You're a wanker. I think you're kind of... No, it's still not very good. It's a very selfish present. Okay, what if it's my game and you gift it this holiday season? What if she doesn't have something to play out on? Papika, I think, would want you to do. What if it's my game and you gift it this holiday season? Oh, it's the best Enjoy present the best man, ever. Medic, no bloop, Ioid, Ultramatics. Is that the right answer? Yeah. Okay. Fenris Ulf and F S uh, F S N I think it is. So, Charlotte, this is actually a true story from. Okay, from now on, when uh -huh. I was, uh, we'll beat it. Old, okay. Software company <laughs> Try hard seven dollars five cents. I made this donation. Smiley face. Uh, that you did. Stupid man, cousin dollars five cents. I wanted to fuck my wife for a CD. To kind of pick it up, and he was okay. Just thank you. Make a mouth, tell him then, and burn the VHS with the one year as well. Boom, thank you, boys. She had to do her job, so what's she gonna say? No, I'm not gonna pick it up, but everyone kind of knew that. Look, it was, uh, look at your retards. To just check 16 out. Out I'm sure they told her as well. So, is that a good thing for a boss to do? I think we only okay. Now, I'm gonna win here. Wait, how do we know, how do we know when we can do a, a wrong choice and still be fine? Picking a new choice. How do we know? Or do you only have like a certain amount of wrong choices you can have? You don't. Because it's not wrong, it's not perfect either. What are you talking about? How was that last one not wrong? We lost. Became wankers. Okay. Do I do I do I beat it first try? 100 percent Do I use my 140 IQ? Or do we lose again with which hat? Which one? It's time for the legend to get a 100%. 100 
percent. How does a British-born Chinese man seduce a beautiful brunette alt while drunk? Richard is trying to help or hinder the proceedings. Oh, the goal is the date. Interracial dating. Mike, I really liked our first lesson. So, what are we going to do today? We're in the restaurant. Maybe do some food stuff? Maybe some food, yeah. yeah? Some, some names for food. Okay, wait, let me remember from last time. Uh, okay. Very good, yes. Yeah. You can speak a little bit of Chinese now. Mm. Yeah. Hey, listen, why don't we order something first? Yeah. Where's the waitress? Let's get something. What are you going to have? I think I'll have a juice. Yeah, orange yeah. and pineapple juice. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Hello. Hi. Are you ready to order? Yes, please. Can I have an orange and pineapple juice, please? A fresh one, right? Yeah. Lovely. Oops. And uh, vodka for me, please. Okay. Thank fresh you. one. Vodka now? Yeah, it helps me relax. My language just flows, you know? It doesn't I help you learn, drinks. man. No, it does, definitely. I use it all for uni. Anyway, so... Okay. What's some... Uh, give me some food, some common dishes. Yeah, that's oh. a deep voice. Uh, fried rice. It's chow fan. Chow fan. And you can ask for some nice roast pork fried rice, which is cha shao rou chao fan. Cha shao zhou. Cha shao zhou zhou fan zhou. Yes. Cha shao zhou chao fan. Yes. Thank you. And your juice. Thank you. What's another one? Chao fan. You can also. Wo xiang Beijing kao ya. Beijing kao ya. Beijing kao ya. That's a lot for one person. Yeah. You can also try xiang shu ya. That's, that's Beijing right. kaoya, but with oh, yeah? the pancakes and the cucumber mm. and the, you know, the sauce. sauce. Yeah, something. yeah, that's right, yeah. Excellent. Mm. It's nice. Wohen er. Wohen er. Hungry. Er. 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 Er is hungry. If you say wohen er, er, that means you're very rubbish. Oh, <laughs> very it's mediocre. hard language, dude. I mean, that's why I need the vodka. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Ganbei. There we go. Mm. You'll see now. It's going to be much better. Okay. Sip it on yeah, the shop. Drink, man. I'm Charlema. No, man, I haven't eaten. Charlema. I've been drinking with you. Charlema. Trying to teach you uh, Chinese whilst you're <sighs> drinking all the vodka. Habuha. 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 Yes. <sighs> that means, is it good enough? Is it good? <sighs> <sighs> Right there. How pale out. Yes. Very nice. Six beers. So, so, so. I'll get this. So, so, so. Salad, please. Ha, ha, ha. A salad? You had me. You had me. How pale out. So. Richard, let's just focus on, focus on the Chinese, man. Western girls don't like Asian guys anyway, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. Am I, am I, am I doing this 100%? Am I beating a level? Or am I beating a level? Because we are not beating a level. We are not beating a level. But I, I can beat a level. Try, Pepe Laugh. Of course I can beat a level. Because we lost. Tr trying out the funny answers last time. We tried. And we lost. And by we, I mean you guys lost. Okay, until I get one wrong, okay, I'll do it until I get one wrong, and if I get one wrong, then I'll do the meme answers. That's the deal. That's the deal. If Kappa, you'll see, you'll see. Michael, yeah? Listen, Asian guys don't approach Western women. That means it's your chance, buddy. She ain't used to it, alright? Get in there. 
all right? She ain't used to it. Yeah, yeah, I'm right, always right. Even <laughs> when I'm wrong, thing. I'm right. Shut up, it's the right Come on. You see, you said it's cool. right. Cool, that's the right option. And you know, for this level, I got some uh, great advice from JT Tran from uh, ABCs of Attraction. He's the top Asian dating coach. And he said that his clients normally have this problem where they don't really approach Western women at all. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know this. Persuaded me, man. I think I'm gonna go talk to her. But what do I say? Could you, could you give me some tips? Like, By the way, I saw some people typing Jackie Chan in the chat. Did you know that Jackie Chan is in the top five most paid actors of last year? I was very surprised. George Clooney number one. But Jackie Chan is up there in top five and I've never seen him in a fucking movie in the last fucking century, but... It's weird. Tell him Western girls suck and only would want an Asian guy for his money. Tell him to just be himself. Be yourself. Tell him to be quite sexual because often Asian guys are not sexual. Tell him to be expressive because Western girls think Asian guys are too poker faced. Okay. And the right answer is D. If I get one wrong, we'll do the meme answers. Michael, yeah, listen. Western girls, like that it's one, B, yeah? you knew. What about they to find out? The Asian guys are poker face, look. So you need to be more expressive, like me, like, uh, smiling, yeah? Mm -hmm. I am. Expressive? Yeah. Okay. Alright. This is one of the stereotypes, again, that Western women have. You know, there are some positive and some negative stereotypes, so being more expressive is a nice way to overcome that particular stereotype. 100% boys, count with me. One 100%, right, two Rich. 100%. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna talk to her. Thanks for the advice, man. <laughs> Use a sexual opener. Romantically serenade her with a little Oprah. Don't even say anything and sit down at the table as if she was expecting you. Give her a direct compliment. Undo your pants, cover your dick with cushion, then unveil it in front of her. Be indirect and ask her opinion on whether you should get a piercing. I wouldn't, I would never say this, <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised if that's the right answer. Hey, I was just sitting with my um, student and I had to come over and talk to you because your hair is so beautiful, you know, I, I found it really distracting. Oh, thank you. So whenever you approach a woman, it's like, what is your reason for doing it? And in this particular environment, you know, if you're in a shop, you might want to yeah. ask opinions or something. But in this particular environment, I think it's good to be direct and just say that you like oh. her and you wanted to know oh. her. No, I'm good. Yeah, I think that's always oh. good to start for any, any situation. If you're going to be direct and compliment her. And you were saying earlier, Charlotte, that you also need the next line because a lot of guys kind of say that and then just stand yeah, there. I think this is really important when a guy approaches and they compliment you and then that's it. There's, there's no second, they haven't thought about the next thing. Mm -hmm. um, this is a really pet peeve of mine. So my name's Michael, what's your name? Uh, I'm Anna. Anna, 
Nice to meet you. What yeah. are you doing sitting here by yourself? Um, I'm actually waiting for a friend. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you mind if I keep you company until she gets here? Um, I think she's going to be here in five minutes. I'll leave the moment she comes. Yeah, just... Okay, sure. Yeah. <sighs> He's gonna uh, so you said this guy's your student. What is it that you teach him? Meditation. <laughs> is there an option? Hang on a minute. Are you meeting a man? Ancient sex techniques. Chinese true dating skills jokes. Uh, then she might okay okay then she might think that this is just for him to watch uh, better not fuck it up okay let me think here how would he say it we gotta go deeper gotta go deeper dating skills teaching him how to pick up women that would backfire. Chinese. Kind of dull, but it won't backfire. D or C? C or D? C, D, Omega Little. I'm gonna go with dating skills. Well, he's my friend, but you know, Put it if you ever look at him, you can probably tell that he doesn't know how to talk to girls, so teaching him dating skills. Uh. <laughs> I'm joking. No, look, I'm teaching him Chinese. If you look at his notebook, oh, thank God. Uh. It's safe. Chinese. Mm -hmm. Is he good? Uh, second lesson. Not too bad on the pronunciation. Yeah. Long way yet. <laughs> That's a great thing, great job, yeah? Ooh. Teaching dating skills. Yeah. Yeah, but lying about it, not... For 100%. Not Again, about you're going to find out if you lie, so... And it sets a get... bar high, I've found. Like, I'm a dating coach, and then they expect the world's best date. That's true, that's true. Which I can normally fulfil, but this guy... No, couldn't mm -hmm. do it, couldn't make the cut. I, I didn't lose. I they said... events. So, no, it was a joke. Um, mainly music events where I scout out bands and solo they artists. They explain what, ha what happened if you didn't say it was a joke. Um, US. That's, yeah, that's what I do. I really enjoy it and I want to do weddings in the end. So, I mean, it sounds like you have quite a creative side, you know, if you're involved with music, you know, even if it's just as an organiser, I mean, that must interest you. Yeah, exactly. I love, I, I have a massive creative side, so I kind of like do it, I like doing everything. And it's really nice putting people together and kind of mm -hmm. starting, a, you know, a party and things. I bet. Yeah. yeah. Do you do you like events? Um. Yeah. I mean, yeah. music events. Yeah. I mean, Chinese sounds really cool. Um, really? Could you teach me something in Chinese? Um. Say that you'll do it, but you want something in return. Teach her to introduce herself. Teach her to say, I'm horny, please help me. But make her think she's saying she likes cats. Teach her to say, I like you. Teach her some cuss words. I mean, I would be able to get away with this. Unless he explains himself afterwards. I'm gonna fuck up my 100%. No, say that you'll do it, but you want something in return. A or D? A or D? Hmm. What would you ask for in return here, boy? I guess this is a safer option. 
This one would have worked later on in the conversation. B idiot. It's not B, you fucking idiot. Stop being betas. B is for beta, okay? I hope. <laughs> YOLO! Let's try having you say Wasi Hwandi. Wasi Hwandi. Wasi Hwan. Hwan. Ni. Ni. Wasi Hwandi. Wasi Hwan Ni. Very good. That means I like you. Ah, oh, so, won me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. I like Wasi. It's a nice sound. Yes, it's a tonal language, so you've got to make sure you get the tones right, otherwise oh, okay. you might be saying something else. Oh, really? Know. Okay. Wasi yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think any time you, know, you speak another language, people uh, often say, oh, say something, or teach me to say something. And you could just say something boring, but in this case you've said, I, I like you, and you've gotten her to say it, so it's a little bit of flirting. There's a little joke there, isn't there? There's something funny at the end of it's it. It's not a joke. So I've been teaching you some Chinese. Why don't you teach me something? Do you speak any other languages? No, I don't. No? No, it's really bad. You've never studied another language? Brexit. When I was in school, I did a little bit of French, but oh, okay. it's really mm. bad. I'm not going to do any to you. Mm. Like, it's mm. offensive. <laughs> it's okay. But you must... So do you speak other languages? Uh, I speak a bit of Russian, yeah. Oh, cool. Um, do you want to say anything in Russian? Uh, I love your mom at school. Oh, nice. And do you speak any other languages? A bit of Italian. Mm. Ooh, say something in Italian. Baffanculo. Did you just say I have two moms? Uh, and so Russian, Italian, Chinese. I and love English. your mommy. Yes. Oh. Four. That's amazing. That's amazing. What to talk about? <laughs> Oh man! God damn it, my 100% run. I gotta fix this though. <laughs> I gotta fix this, man. <sighs> okay, this doesn't count. Okay, this is me doing your favorite chat, and hopefully I can still be. I'm gonna count this as a one hundred percent, even if I pick this, and it shows up as ninety eight or whatever. Okay, or ninety five, probably more likely. So, do you play video games? Um, not really. No, I'm not massively into video games. I'm really into video games. Like um, this one I play called Fortnite. Um, okay. I think you should try it out sometime. Basically, like you, you play in a group with other people on the web, and you have to build a fort, and then you have to keep the zombies out. You know, you Love have to. Oh, zombies! Oh, yeah, yeah. Just That's cool. Sleeping yeah, in you the got background. guns, and you gotta. Oh, what? It's it's really cool. oh so what like are you zombies? talking about? I like killing them. Is he talking uh, about the fucking oh, okay. PVE? Okay, yeah, I'm, okay. Not, I'm not that into oh, it. But to play Fortnite PVE. I think yeah, it sounds fun, and wow. so. You basically kill zombies with guns. Um, is there anything else that you do in the game? You build a fort. A yeah, fort. like a base. What do you build yeah. out of? Just the materials on the level, like, you know, you've got planks and you can build ladders and walls oh and my stairs. God. This guy is like, boxes oh, Fortnite is rooms. really popular now. It's like one of the most popular games right now. Oh you know? my God. Even someone who starts says playing the PvE games. part, it fucks yeah. up. It probably. <laughs> Here's some YouTube content for my right? channel. Yeah. There's probably a few people. So here, who's Michael done that was talking mistake. about Fortnite, the very popular game. Uh, what do you think? Talking about computer games. I mean, if you find a common ground with her that she's interested in computer games too, then great. But if you're just plucking that for midair, you could be really talking about anything. It's probably a no-go. Have you heard of Fortnite? Nope. Heard of uh, PUBG? Uh. Call of Duty? Yes. When is this era oh, gonna end? Not that sad. 
I'm still with the cool gang. So the uh, friend that's coming. She's still in IRL's room. Is it a girl or? Uh, yeah, a girl. Yeah. Good. Just a friend. So have you ever dated the nation guy before? Uh, I haven't actually. Wait, that worked. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Fortnite. Thank you. Okay, but we're counting as a one hundred percent still because we're we we're gonna pick the travel one. Tell her that Asian guys think Western women are not so feminine or ladylike. Immediately accuse her of being racist to make her feel guilty. Tell her she needs to try it because Asian is amazing. Asian is Amazon. Amazing. Okay, this is the only option that makes sense. Well, you've never dated it's an Asian guy. It's easy when it's guy. three. Oh, you're missing out. When it's... You know that famous saying, once you go Asian, seven or you six. know it's an Asian. Uh, I didn't know that, actually. Um, Wait, but that's, no. Did you well, just you make know. that up? No. No. It's a famous saying. Wait. So here it's really weird because Anna hadn't heard of the um, common phrase where um, you say once you go Asian, you'll know it's amazing. Oh. You know? Yeah, I've n it's not been. You a... heard that one? No, I haven't. No one has heard oh. that one ever. All right, but What's is it talking about? I mean, a little, no. Because she hadn't dated an Asian guy but before. I get that. I mean, you don't have to be, you know, Einstein. And it's amazing, really like amazing. That. Yeah, I get that. Too. Amazing. I mean, still. Just scraping the barrel a bit there. No, all right. So what kind of uh, things are you into? Uh, I'm into... Hey, Luz. There's cooking. no other option. Um, I make really good chicken pie. Um, oh. I also really like philosophy. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Cocaine. Demonstrate some value by talking about the secret. It sounds like a women's magazine. Tell her that it's a soft science and that physics is the only worthwhile subject. Demonstrate some value by talking about Buddhism. This is obviously the right one. Well, that's quite a coincidence because I'm really into Buddhism. You know, oh, really? I started, yeah, yeah. I started um, meditation like about a year oh, ago. Oh, really? You know, I find it really helpful because you know sometimes what you, you mean, know, oh, really? life is very busy and you get all these thoughts in your head. And um, I like to do meditation as a way to just clear my head, you know, and to get yeah. back, back in touch with myself and, you know, what I want, where I'm going. That kind of thing. So, does that? Yeah, yeah. I do meditation yeah. as well. I love meditation. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's really oh. good just to clear the mind and mm -hmm. spend a little bit That's of right. time without any thoughts. Is that totally 100 percent correct. Out, you know, and yeah. it's you know just focusing on your breathing. It's like good for you. It's healthy. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, if, if you've got uh, Buddhism, you can talk about that. If you're an Indian guy talking about yoga and stuff, you know, if you talk about the things Wait, that what? are, you know, the highlights or the strong points of your culture or country, then um, it's an interesting conversation point. Yeah. Especially for women who are more likely to yoga. be into yoga and spirituality. Yeah, definitely. I think it's the same for both, though, and it shows that you are taking an interest in your own culture Yogurt. and seeing how much she might know, how well travelled or how interested she is in your culture. It's important. Cool. Yeah, so I can do um, a party trick with a napkin. Okay, let's yeah. see this. <laughs> so I can make like bunny ears, um, oh. and what else can I make? Hey. I... Hi, 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 Mary. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. Okay. Um, this is Michael. Yeah, this is Mary, too. my friend. Okay. Uh, 
Nice cucking. Hands up, man. Come on, chat. Go to hell, Pim. Go back to sleep. Throw up the table. Try to steal your friend's girl. Oh. I'm richer now. Uh, you know what? I think A might actually be better. I think I'm gonna go with A. I was just showing Michael my trick. <laughs> okay, not like that. Sit down. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, we're done. No, no, no. I don't understand you. Dude. She doesn't even look Chinese. She doesn't get you. Oh, my went my went He's so weird. <laughs> really weird. Sorry. Is that your friend? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a bit drunk. Look, he's had five vodkas. So. Oh, first time, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> the Russian laughing at five vodkas. <laughs> Well done, it's the right option. Obviously, he needs some help because, you know, well her done. friends come right and likely they want to catch yes. up and talk. And this is right. a point where you can easily get sent away. So you need your wingman. Yeah, you don't want to get sidelined in this situation. So that's an interesting trick. Nice help, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Um, She's yeah. good in that. Yeah, 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 I'm good at tricks, part of tricks. Oh, God. Well, we end the hand you don't. Right, I got it, Karen, Shama don't quite to the chosen. Now that's racist. He's so cute. Yeah. Unless that's actually Chinese. And I'm racist. Yeah, 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 I guess you catch up with her later. Yeah, I guess I won't see her for a while. <laughs> yes, my friend likes to dance and sing when he's drunk. Does he? Does he? I bet he's embarrassed you a lot. <laughs> yes. Can you dance? Uh, not really. Maybe you want to have had a bit to drink. Yeah, but... I'm sure you can. Yeah, I, I can dance. Yeah. You work. Yeah, I really enjoy it. So, you know, I'm really glad I came over to talk to you. You... <laughs> You're a really nice, uh... Yeah, I'm really glad you came over and had the confidence to chat. It's really nice. Maybe, um, maybe we could be friends, actually. That would be nice. Okay, we're gonna say this. I got this. Fuck by this, maybe. Beggar, not the friends on you say you get friends on too much already. I'm not interested in being friends with you. I had too many friends already. Yeah, great. Sounds good. Ask her if she normally does this with her friends. Stand up and try to make out with her. Boom. Yeah, I'm not really interested in being friends. I've kind of got enough already. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking for a bit more. A bit more than friendship. <laughs> This is great because it's being slightly sexual and flirty, not too much, uh, but it's also kind of showing why you're there again, that you're there not because you want to be right. friends. Yeah, and you're confident She's and you're mad. stating what you want in the situation. Just so works. This is a good thing. So what is it that you do anyway? Well, when I'm not teaching Chinese, I work as a scientist. <laughs> uh, what, what kind of science? Uh, chaos theory like in the context of biology so it's a bit of a it's a combination of maths and biology mm -hmm. <laughs> that doesn't sound that interesting do you find Whoa. it interesting rude you fucking motherfucking <laughs> okay what the things you have to fucking do man
It sounds boring. No, 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 no. Let me prove to you um, how it's interesting. Give me a hand. Mm -hmm. So, imagine I had a drop of water on my finger and I put it on your knuckle. Right. Which way do you think it will roll? You know, if I put it right on the top there. Um, it would go down here. Roll. So the first time Slide, we do it, maybe. maybe it'll go down here. The second time, maybe it'll go that way. Maybe it'll go back. It's hard to say, isn't it? Because there's, there's too much chaos here. Why? Because the way the droplet falls depends on the orientation of the hairs on your hand and also the little, the little imperfections in your skin. And uh, <laughs> overall, you know, there's a lot of information. It's very complicated. So, you know, it's, um, okay. it's chaos. Okay. And this is biology. Ah, oh, really nice. Interesting. So that's basically what Good you job. learn. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's everyone's hands, not just mine. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> not, not everyone's got perfect hands. <laughs> Oh, it's nice. Well, you learn something new every day. Indeed you do. <laughs> Let's, can I have my hand back? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, God. It's your hand. You ruined it. That. So that's the right option. It's modelled on the Jeff Goldblum scene in Jurassic Park. Um, and it's basically proven that point again, where I it doesn't matter what you talk about, as long as you do it with passion, that passion is an emotion, it's contagious, and it's attractive. I totally oh, she didn't watch agree. I honestly think you could be talking about anything, rubbish, bin liners, for all I care. As long as you're passionate about it, it's super contagious and very attractive. Passionate about bin Laden? No, bin liners. Ah, bin liners. Bin liners. Cool. Or bin Laden? <laughs> no. Not. Nah. Why not? So other than Shoot. salad, what kind of food are you into? Um, I'm into like, lots of different food. Um, I love chicken Kievs. Oh, great. Yeah, yes, chicken me Kievs. too. Mm. Really good. Um, what else? I love brownies, anything sweet. Brownies, yeah. yes, cake. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like sweet. brownies? Yes, I love brownies. Mm. Oh, can you bake? No. Okay. I'd love to know how to bake, or maybe to meet someone who knows how to bake. Yeah, and good. so what kind of food do you like? Me? I'm actually really into sushi at the moment, you know. Oh, Can't nice. get enough raw fish. I, I love, love sushi, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I love fish as well, yeah. Yes, fish. Yeah, it's good. Swordfish is probably one of the nicest oh, fish I've ever had. It's actually I've very good. I've had swordfish. It's delicious. It's, it's so it like? oily and, like, tender. It's... Oh, ooh. nice. It, I always thought it would be, like, tough. And chewy. Like a it's, swordfish It's chewy, steak. but in a good way. Like, it's, it's chunky. It's like fucking okay. but, it's, but it's not um, it's not tough at all. Oh, know? is it it's, not? It's, oh, it's nice. really, like, flavoursome. You know? Oh, delicious. It comes in, like, steaks, because you know how big sh swordfish are, you know? They're... Yeah, massive. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so you'll have, like, a steak of it on yes. your... Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. nice. It's good stuff. You should try sometime. Yeah. How will you find out whether she's single? <clears throat> I got this. Look, I'm very busy, so I don't want to waste my time. Waste time if you're not gonna fuck me. What are my chances? A man of science and numbers. I like that, but probably not the right approach. My friends are going to have a baby boy and are thinking about names. Can you help? What's your boyfriend's name? Ah, oh, dude, too obvious, man. See, as a single girl, I was wondering whether you are into dating apps or mainly meet people in real life. Turn her on by visually showing her what you'll do to her pussy. Okay. So, here's the thing, right? C. Okay. B. Is super obvious. And it shouldn't be in there. That's the right answer. But, on the other hand, C. You're assuming she's single which when you should be assuming that she's not because if she's if you think she's single she might get offended why do you think i'm single you know am i not pretty enough no 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 hot pocket right i don't know which one is worse though which one is the the lesser of two evils my friends are going to have a baby boy and are thinking about names can you help what's your boyfriend's name that one is so bad, I, I'm just gonna go with C. So as a um, single girl, do you prefer to meet people online or do you prefer to meet them in real life? Uh, wait, how did you know that I was single? Well, there were two things that you did earlier that kind of or gave it away. she should have said, why what do you were think they? I'm single? I think I'll keep that to myself for now. I might tell you later. Aww. 
Nice one. Uh, that's the right option. And look how cool that is. You can use that anywhere. That's the line from uh, our friend Pete. And yeah, it works really, really well, especially with that extra bit of curiosity at the end where she wants to know how you know. So I've had a really great time meeting you and getting to know you, but I'm a bit worried about your friend because my friend Richard, you know, he's a, he's a bit crazy. So I think I'm going to go save her, let you guys, you know, have a catch up and then um, I'll be off. But you know, I think we should see each other again. Suggest meeting for a meal sometime, just the two of them. Suggest that you can come to her house to check the feng shui in her bedroom. So you said you were really into chicken kiev, so why don't we have that for dinner one night? Mm. Ah, so... That's actually one of my favourite dishes. Inviting her friends? Yeah, and Kiev's I think it chicken. shows social intelligence, because it's like, look, you're here with your friend tonight, so it's not the ideal situation. So we can meet just one-on-one -on -one another time, and, you know, it'll be better. Great. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Um, we could possibly meet up, maybe. Um, yeah, just give me a text or something. Why is she acting like this right now? What the fuck? Dude, put in the fake number. This, this chick is crazy. Cool. Okay. Not bad. You got lots of good options, but also a few bad ones, so you could have done better. No, I got one that I picked on purpose because of Twitch chat. Cool. That's the right option. And, you know, for this level, I got some uh, great advice from JT Tran from uh, ABCs of Attraction. He's the top Asian dating coach. And he said that his clients <laughs> normally have this problem where they don't really approach Western women at all. Really? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? This How is one questions? of the stereotypes, again, that Western women... How many questions? 13 questions. Uh, okay, 13 so questions. Stops her we picked Fortnite. Yeah, and I think it shows social intelligence. So, 12 it's like, out of 13 is not 76%. So, not situation. so, so we must have gotten... We can meet just one-on-one -on -one another time. We must have gotten... And, you know, it'll be better. Two okay. wrong. Three wrong. Or not not wrong, but so which one is three? Oh, yellow. Okay. So here it's really weird because Anna we hasn't heard of the um, common phrase where that's a great thing. Great job. Yeah. Great job. Great skills. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. So here it's really weird because Anna. Dude. That's a great thing. Great okay, job. this one yeah? I can get Teaching behind. Skills. Yeah. I can yeah, get behind. Lying about this one it. was bad. I, I, I kind of yeah, called it out. It can out be weak, right? Lies. This one, so I should have got it right, but I think Fortnite. for you. This one. So here, it's really weird. The other options Anna were really bad, if the, I remember correctly. Um, common phrase where um, you say, once you go Asian, you'll know it's amazing. Oh. You know? Yeah, I've n it's not been. You heard that one? No, I haven't. Huh. All right, but is it. What do you think? I wish I could go back um, to just this one. A little, no. Because she hadn't dated an Asian guy before. I get that. I mean, you don't have to be, you know, Einstein. And it's amazing, really like amazing. That. Yeah, I get that amazing. too. Amazing. I mean, still, just scraping the barrel a bit there. No, all right. Okay. So I think, yeah, I if, can't if skip. you've got uh, Buddhism. I don't think I can skip. Mike, I really liked our first lesson. So I what are we going to do today? We're in the restaurant. Maybe do some food stuff? Some food, yeah. yeah? Some, some it doesn't work. Food. Okay, wait, let me remember from last time. Uh, okay. Press the space yes. bar. Yeah, yeah. You can speak a little bit of Chinese now. There mm. you have it. Yes. Listen, why don't we order something? Yes. You get all the girls. Yeah, kind of true. Escape. Escape doesn't Escape. work. Escape brings it to the menu. Let's get something. What are you gonna have? I think I'll have a juice. I can't skip. Hold space. I have. I have tried. 
Yeah, orange and pineapple juice. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Hello. Hi. Are you ready to order? I don't know if it's me or if it's if it's if it's the game. I'm pretty sure this this space bar is Jägermeister free. You can't skip the intro. Can I have an orange and pineapple juice, please. A fresh no, one. Right? I think I yeah. can skip. Lovely. And uh, vodka for me, please. Okay. Thank you. Vodka now. Automatic, yeah, Fenrir really like. Salt, uh, flows, you know? uh, Doesn't help you learn, man. Are you no, mentally challenged? Chat is spamming us anyway, so, every button. Okay. What's some, uh, give me some food, some common dishes. The food, oh. There is no skip there. Uh, fried rice is chow fan. Chow fan? That's, uh, and you can ask for some nice roast pork fried rice, which is uh, cha shou rou. Chantilly, spruilic slime. It's actually Zou. a legacy mm. of Bulgarity, Zou. Thash, Zou. Bilbo. Yes. Char Shao Shao, Char Shao, 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 Oh, oh, here it is. Beta, beta uh, White Knight <laughs> Cup on his stream. It says uh, Riot uh, employee. Uh, 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 if you say uh, what had uh, are, uh, that, that means you This is the Riot drama that I didn't read. Bonus meme from this card. Yeah, I guess I, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can check it out. I haven't, uh... Very rubbish. You already heard this intro. You shut the fuck up, chat. What the fuck? You fucking motherfuckers. Motherfucker, motherfuckers. I can't, I can't skip it. So what do we do? Oh, <laughs> it's it's hard language, dude. I mean, that's why I need the book. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Can be. Yes. There we go. Mm. You'll see now. It'll be much better. Okay. Oh, you're not even seeing it. Look. Here. Wait, what? Yeah, you see the escape room? Doesn't work. You're not even seeing been drinking with you. Trying to teach you uh, Chinese whilst you're drinking all the vodka. I know, I'm well, holding yes. it. That means, is it good enough? Is it good? Fish <sighs> <sighs> right there. Hop <laughs> all out. Yes. It's not shaped, nice. it's not entered. I mean, this, this obviously means baseball. I'll get this salad, please. Oh, oh, oh. So. Richard, let's just focus on, focus on the Chinese, man. Western girls don't like Asian guys anyway, so. Wait, what? Wait, did I skip it? Wait, what? What are you? Michael, yeah? But you're not Asian. You're, you're Asian. Yeah, yeah man, I'm Asian. And her? She's. Eh? Uh, she's white. She's like you? Singapore. White. No, she's white. No way. Yeah, and now why like you? Oh fuck, forget it, man. Don't bother. Stay here with me. Yeah, okay. Uh. Uh, that's the wrong choice in this situation because he should. He likes her. He should give it a go. Mhm. Mm Michael, yeah. No, I still <laughs> can't skip. Asian guys don't approach with Do we really me. bother replaying this? <sighs> I kind of want to know the, the answer to that one question that I was wrong. I don't think. I don't think it's worth it though. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. I can't skip. If I could have skipped, I, I would have done it, but I can't skip. They should make it so you can go back to a specific question. It has skipped. It doesn't. Okay, last time. That means it's your chance, buddy. She ain't used to it, alright? This Get is space bar. Alright? 
She ain't used to it. Yeah, yeah, I'm right, always right. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. <laughs> Go on. Are you satisfied with your autism? Cool, that's the right option. And you know, for this level, I got some uh, great advice from JT Tran from uh, ABCs of Attraction. He's the top Asian dating coach. And he said that his clients normally have this problem where they don't really approach Western women at all. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know this. Unplug keyboard. Okay. Sweet of me, man. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty good, good though with this one. I'm pretty good. I think. Yellow, Moki, Blagan. What do I say? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sam Super, Melbots, Relic, Query, Bomb tips? Jesus, Coin Con, Innocent Whale, Positive Vibes, Hasten, Quasan89, Fat Bat, TK, Iso Square, Shutter, anyways. Hi, cool. on, on second form, fuck it, yeah? These Western girls are bitches, yeah? You hear me? Bitches, yeah? Look at you. Don't need that shit, yeah? You're a nice Chinese girl, all right? True. This is one of the stereotypes as well. Right. Like in Singapore, oh, you missed one. Um, you know, I heard that quite a lot, mm -hmm. um, but obviously it's not true, right? No. It's not true. Of course she's gonna say that. Hi, <laughs> cool, yeah, look. You're a fucking legend, remember that. Be yourself. You don't need to do nothing, you just be yourself, yeah? You bang all the guns. All right, now get to it. I personally hate this advice, just be yourself, because if a guy isn't very cool and confident, it's obviously the total wrong thing to do. He needs to become more interesting and cool, right? Con and then will he revert back to being himself later on? Yeah, because if yourself is not enough, like when I was 21 and I was a loser virgin, if I'd stayed myself until now, what would I be? Loser virgin. So I had to become better, wow. become cooler, and then myself Shut was better, but, Rick, relax, um, bro. you know, the advice your mum normally gives is just be yourself, yeah. but sometimes you really need to your do something. Mom. Be the best self. Be a better self, the best self you can be. You can do it. But hey, that's inspirational though, right, Chad? All right, Ricks. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna talk to her. This god, this advice, dating man. guru god. 21 year old, he was in your shoes right now. And then he started watching my stream and then boom! Look where he is now, huh? Chinese restaurant. <laughs> why are they? That's why did they always think uh, they have security? Yes, that's available? totally wrong. <laughs> Got something in your mouth, there? In your throat? Some water? <laughs> Can't believe that didn't work. Hey. So I was just thinking, you know, if a white girl is sitting by herself in an Asian fusion restaurant, then, you know, she must be looking for some Asian cock. That's a little bit too uh, sexual. That's what I got. Uh, sorry, can you just... No, fuck off. Just fuck off. Good job. <laughs> fuck off, mate. I didn't work. Ready right for it. Just keep going. Persistence is. You said be sexual. Persistence against resistance or something, right? <laughs> for Does this ever work? A sexual opener, no, doesn't really work. So that's why it's wrong. It's wrong. Hey, I was just sitting with my um, student and I had to come over and talk to you because your hair is so beautiful, you know, I found it really distracting. 
Oh, thank you. GL Spa and Wild Shanty. I've talked for two years. So babies. whenever you approach a woman, no, it's like, would. what is your reason your for badge, doing it? And in, in this exchange. particular environment, you know, if you're in a shop, you might want to ask opinions or something. But in this particular environment, I think it's good to be direct and just say that you liked her and you wanted you to. You already her. chose that for a cent. Yeah, I think that's always good to start for any, I have any to do situation. To progress to your next fucking shitty answer. And you were saying earlier, Charlotte, that you also need the next line because a lot of guys kind of say that and then just stand yeah, there. I think this is really important when a guy approaches and they compliment you and then that's it. There's, there's no second, you haven't thought about the next thing. Mm -hmm. um, this is a really pet peeve of mine. So my name's Michael, what's your name? Uh, I'm Anna. Anna, nice to meet you. Yeah. What are you doing sitting here by yourself? Um, I'm actually waiting for her friends. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you mind if I keep her company until she gets here? Um, I think she's gonna be here in five minutes. But I'll leave the moment she comes. Five. Oh, just okay. Now. Sure. Yeah. <sighs> uh, so you said this guy's your student. What is it that you teach him? Time to bring in super soldiers. Ancient six techniques. Well, I'm an challenge. expert in many things, and my friend here, he's going through a bit of a rough patch, so I'm teaching him some ancient six techniques. Super soldiers. Uh, ancient Chinese sex you. techniques. Okay, yeah. Um, well, they work really well. I just don't believe you. I'm sorry, I well, don't I believe. Could, I could prove thing. it to you. No, uh, you no, thank you. Do? Actually, go away. I, sorry, can you I just? I don't even have to touch you to do it. No, what? I'm sorry, but that's. Okay. What's going on, Matt? You can bang your brains out or what? Cringe. That's what's going on. <laughs> Do you know any ancient uh, Chinese sex techniques? Surprisingly not. Ancient Egyptian? No, not that. Roman? No. Ancient Greek? We're going to go on for a while here, aren't we? Babylonian? Norse? So your friend coming, is, um, is it a guy? Like, do you have a boyfriend? Uh, it's really none of your business if I have a boyfriend. Oh, it's really wow. none of your business. You've literally just asked Super me that defensive. because you like the way I look. We haven't had one conversation and you've just asked me if I have a boyfriend. No, actually... You're just asking if your friend is... No, why well, I don't care. No, goodbye. Freaking goodbye. Hell. goodbye. What's going on, dude? She's really aggressive. Is she banging or what? What's going on? Huh? Some friend, what is it? Is one for me or not? Is she hot? Didn't ask her, man. Give me a blonde one. Wake me up when she comes. Yeah. This is kind of immediately showing uh, jealousy and, you know, not really good, right? No. Bit off putting. So this is the right answer. I'm teaching you Chinese. Joke. No joke. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, I grew up in the UK, so my Chinese isn't perfect, but because I'm a friend of a friend, you know, he got me to teach him, so. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. That's really cool. So how do you know Chinese if you grew up in the UK? Oh, my parents are from China. Oh, you know, nice. I was born in the UK and, you know, I grew up speaking it. And actually, when I was a kid, my Chinese was better than my English. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's your first language? Yeah. 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 Oh, nice. And so both your parents are Chinese? Yes, yes. Okay. And have you been to China? Yes. Went quite a lot when I was young. So, mm -hmm. have you? The Innocent Child, yeah. Rainbow, oh. Tribe no, Life, never. V6, yeah. Ruru Barbo. Uh, but I'd like to. Eritrea, Yoke, yeah, you should Euro, if you have them. Rotten Boy, DK, 43 months. Really old books. Thank you, boys. That's the right answer. You know, in this case, you okay. can joke or whatever, but it's actually is pretty Is this cool my question now, or is it the next one? one? 
Absolutely, you don't meet they people said who I had teach a Chinese all the time. Answer. So I think it's a great thing. It's also a conversation starter. Do oh. you speak some Chinese? Ni hao. Oh, nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Um, I organise events, so um, mainly music events, where I scout out bands and solo artists, and then put it all together. Put it um, all together. That's, yeah, that's what I do. I really enjoy it, and I want to do weddings in the end. So, I mean, it sounds like you have quite a creative side, you know, if you're involved with music, you know, even if it's just as an organiser, I mean, that must interest you. Yeah, exactly. I love, I, I have a massive creative side, so I kind of like do it, I like Mass. doing everything. And it's really nice putting people together and kind of mm -hmm. starting, a, you know, a party and things. I bet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you do you like events? Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. music events. Yeah. I mean, Chinese sounds really cool. Um, could you teach me something in Chinese? Um. I was right on this one already. This would probably work because. You wouldn't tell her what it means. 我迫不及待了。迫不及待了。迫不及待了。迫不及待了。迫不及待了。That means I love cats. Ah, I love cats. I do love cats. So what is it again? 我迫不及待了。迫不及待了。Nice, nice. Again, because you gotta use them to progress. We just saw 10 minutes ago. I think you can skip with space. So this is morally wrong. Obviously she doesn't know that she's saying she's horny and she needs help. No, and she'll have no clue unless she learns it quickly. Like it's morally wrong. Just like when uh, with my first girlfriend, mm -hmm. she asked me how to say stapler, and I said that the word was bungda. And so she was going around in England saying, do you have the bungda? So she was awfully embarrassed. Yeah, I was just sitting there laughing. You were laughing at her. Yeah. Such a gentleman. She fell in love that day. Are you still with her? No. No. But she died, so it wasn't my fault. Oh. Is that a lie? Yeah. Yeah. I'm still doing it. I'm still lying. So I've been teaching you some Chinese. Why don't you teach me something? Do you speak any other languages? We call it no, I don't. No. No, it's really bad. You never studied another language. When I was in school, I did a little bit of French, but oh, okay. it's really mm. bad. I'm not going to do any to you. Mm. Like it's offensive. <laughs> okay. But you must. So do you speak other languages? Uh, I speak a bit of Russian. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, do you want to say anything in Russian? Uh, <laughs> Oh, nice. And do you speak any other languages? Bit of Italian. Mm. Ooh, say something in Italian. Baffanculo. Uh, and so Russian, Italian, Chinese, and English. Culo. What is that? Head? Yes. Four. That's amazing. That's amazing. What is culo in Italian? Gimme, 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 gimme. You don't oh. unlock the ability to skip until you complete the Mahmood quest line and. <laughs> I completed the Mahmood. Suck his dick. Okay, that I did not do. What to talk about? Donald Trump. So I've had a really good time talking to you, but you know, before we take this, before we take this conversation any further, I just have to find out. You know, I, do you like Donald Trump? Oh God, Donald Trump. Are you fucking serious? No, awful. awful you don't like man. Donald Trump? No. He's the best US president ever. Oh, oh, my oh God, God, you like him. It's true. Oh. I thought you were intelligent. He's an awful man. Awful man. He just looks like a lady. Fucking stupid beneath the surface. <laughs> Jesus. Vodka, please. Vodka. 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 Charlotte. Yes. You're a Trump fan? Gimme, 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 gimme. How do you call you someone that only speaks Ask one language well, in American high highest? I don't like to talk about politics at the table. Politics, money, just keep it to the weather and travel. What else is there to talk about? I've told you the weather and travel. You can't read ah. chat and haven't seen the messages I've been spamming for the last 25 minutes. You can skip these cutscenes by hitting escape and clicking on skip. 
Enjoy the ten dollars. I like this pay to get notice stream. Hmm. I call it P2GN. Maybe we should put that fucking money towards an education. Fucking dumbass. Where's the skip? And the funny thing is you actually spam that motherfucking shit for 25 minutes. Thinking you're right. Okay? Where is it? Where is it? Hmm? Where is it, Landon? Okay, he wrote something. I don't know, Forsen. He shrugged. You don't know. You don't know. Where are you from? What are you? That's right. Don't ever question my intelligence ever again. <laughs> okay, Time to bring shot. in super soldiers. Okay. So, the if you were to do cowgirl, would you prefer like just normal cowgirl or reverse cowgirl? Uh, what do you mean by cowgirl? Sorry. Well, I'm just thinking. You know, you, I think you look like a reverse cowgirl type of person. Like, yeah, I'm Brexit. Are you, are you, are you talking about behind. sex positions? Yes. What? No. Sex positions. No. Why would you bring that up? <clears throat> no. No. We're just friends. That isn't where this is going. No. Sorry. No. Go. Go. What does Sorry. this mean, though? Like, th we're just having a conversation. This is friends. We're not even friends anymore. Fuck off. <laughs> this is just gross. Okay. So do you travel much? This next one is mine. Um, not Journey really. Hunter, the I, I want to travel more. Good day. Um, well, that Mexican, I'm Ray the place Bang, I've been is Israel. Israel? Yeah. Oh, wow. Which was amazing. Was Welcome, Welcome back. Um, what about you? Do you travel? Um, yes, I travel quite a bit. I've been to Italy, Russia, China lots of times. Uh, I went to the States once when I was really young. Um, oh, whereabouts in whereabouts? the States? Uh, Florida. Boston, Washington, New York. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. So you kind of saw a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it, but yeah. it's probably changed a ton by now. Yeah, yeah I've been to New York as well. Florida. Okay. Yeah. yeah New I really York, like I love it. New York. Yeah, it's lovely. The restaurants are so affordable. And yeah. Yes. Yeah, the restaurants are so busy. affordable. Um, I don't yeah. know. What's, what's the favorite, 20 your favorite place? 20% tip, by the way. My favorite place? Probably Nova Scotia. The McDonald's there, they do lobster burgers because it's, you know, it's like a little island. Oh my god. And, you know, lobsters everywhere. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> nice. Wow. Mm. I would actually like to go to one of those, those lobster burgers. Red yeah. lobster, is it? Yeah, yeah. I like food. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty popular, no? Uh, if you've traveled a lot, travel is a good subject. And if you haven't traveled a lot, Travel's a good subject <laughs> because uh, most people like talking about travel. I think, what was it you said to yesterday about it's travel? Shit. No what one ever regrets. Oh, yeah, sucks. no one ever regrets travel. You may regret a lot of things in life. You might regret the big burger you just no ate or the shoes, but you never regret travel. <laughs> and also, I think if you, no even if you haven't traveled, saying where you would like to go is still on the subject. Yeah, it's a cool subject. Guess what? They so the uh, friend that's coming the cow's is a as girl? Well. Or uh, a yeah, a girl. Yeah. Good. Just a friend. So have you ever dated an Asian guy before? Uh, I haven't actually. Hmm. Maybe they don't. Maybe they, they shoot him. With a special specialized gun. How do they kill the cows when they make your steak nowadays? Maybe they actually shoot him with something. Air pressure. It's an air pressure gun, is it not? Something like that, I think. Goes super quick. Unless there's some uh, religious thing and they hang it upside down and slice the neck or slice the throat. 
Okay, this one. So this is the passable option. What the fuck? Which one is the correct? What? This is correct? Come on, bruh. How is this more correct than this? What you? Correct is C because it's just a joke. It doesn't say parenthesis joke parenthesis. Time to bring in super soldiers. So this is correct? Which one is correct? Are you a fucking racist? What? How old are you? It's not a joke. I'm 24. 24? And you've never dated an Asian guy? <laughs> what well, the just, fuck? I haven't dated that many people. You come to an Asian fusion restaurant and you, you order a fucking salad. <laughs> you're even racist towards fucking food? You're happy to use our restaurants, but you're not gonna... Our restaurants. Fuck. Okay, this was not the right choice, I think. Racist! This woman's a racist. C could you remove her, please? What do you think of this ploy, Charlotte? No, it's not very kind. You can't say it would get her on side. Or him, for that matter. And cruel. Have you ever dated an Asian guy? I haven't, no. So you're a racist? No, I'm not. Time to bring in super is, soldiers. It's, it's just simply childish. <laughs> God. <laughs> Wait, so this is the, the right answer? Tell that Asian guys think Western women are not so feminine or ladylike? Well, that's not very surprising, to be honest. Like, a lot of the Asian guys I know, they find Western girls to be quite... sloppy. Oh, sloppy? Mm, like... Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Like, sloppy. some of my friends don't take off their makeup. That's not what bed, you're writing here! Which is quite sloppy, but I'm not like that. I'm quite, oh, um, oh, you know, I like, I'm quite really clean and I, you know, I don't go out too much. I was supposed 100% if they quite just... Quite a little bit more feminine, you know. Good, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, you know how they say that um, Asian women, they, they age slower. I don't think that's true. I think they just take better care of themselves. But, you oh, know, really? you, you don't have that problem, obviously. <laughs> so. Well, thanks. What are you... How was this, this is a little bit of drama here. I don't know if you'd like this one, but Go it's on. it's saying that you know the Asian women are more feminine and reserved, which is kind of true. Mm -hmm. And so it's putting uh, a little challenge out there to seeing how how you deal with it. Fair enough, you can challenge her. Mm -hmm. So what kind of uh, things okay. are you into? Was that the right answer? Uh, I'm into can I go cooking. To the end now? Um, I make really good. Chicken okay. pie. Um, oh. I also really like philosophy. Oh, really? Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Uh, philosophy. It used to be an alright subject, but it's kind of a soft science nowadays. It's kind of dominated by postmodern neo-Marxists who are just ruining the universities and the humanities. If you're going to study science, like, Ooh, you you're should study educated. physics. Educated. Avoid philosophy. <laughs> Throw Avoid that philosophy. shit on her. Mm, yeah, I don't so much agree with that. Okay. Actually. Counter argument. I think, yeah, I think they're two different things. So. Okay. Nice. A plane. <laughs> Yeah, so this is uh, blocking, right? right? And that's an acting term, and it's when someone uh, offers you something and you just, no, nope, shut down. I like this instead. Mm -hmm. That's the end of that conversation. Or it's rubbish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's or I nowhere used to, to do go. that, but nah. Yeah, it's never a good idea because then you have absolutely nowhere to go in the conversation. It's just a killer. What are you yeah, so I can do um, a party trick with a napkin. Okay, let's yeah. see this. <laughs> so I can make 
like bunny ears. Um, oh. And what else can I make? Wait. Hi, 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 Mary. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, okay. Um, this is Michael. Yeah, this is Mary, too. my Make friend. Sure. Still your friend. So what's the uh, trick that you were um, yeah, telling me so about? Yeah. Can you show me? that shit, yeah? Dude, dude. Yeah, sure. Up, man. Listen, babe. Dude, she's trying to show us a trick. Uh, dude, so what are you doing? What are you doing? Can I you, dreamed about can you, you please not touch Rich, me? Sorry, Rich, can you get your friend off me? me? No, 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 no. What's up, mate? Dude, no. you're drunk, babe. Whoa, Sit down. What are you doing? What's up, mate? Oh, my God. What's going wrong with her? Oh, my God. What are you doing? Get away from you. me. No, get away from me. Sit down, man. <laughs> dude. You need to be so beautiful. Is there security? Babe, 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 I'm too drunk. I mean, mate, I mate, 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 security. mate, 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 So stealing your friend's girl, your Chinese teacher friend's girl that you really liked, what do mm -hmm. you think? Don't think so, it's not in the bro code, is it? Last I checked, it wasn't there, no. Shoulder again. <laughs> so what's bro this uh, My trick? Michael, man, I know, I know you're trying to fuck these girls here, but I just feel like... I just feel no. sick. Can you take me home, mate? I'm so sorry about this. I'm so sorry. I just feel sick, man. Oh my god, you should take him home. Yeah. Are All right, you okay? man. Okay. Green. Let's get you home, man. Let's get you home. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> do it. Jesus. Jesus. Let's do it on the floor. Don't do it on the fucking lady. Oh my god. Why was that? Oh. Oh. Need some help here. <laughs> Need some help her, she laughs. Anna. Oh, I'm so sorry. She's not sorry. No, she's the pretty one. A bit of a bad impression here, puking up on people, right? Mm, gross. What are you? I was just showing Michael my trick. Hey, hey. Hello. Can you call me my name? Save her. Sure. Leave her 38 months. I don't understand. Thank you very much. Deal dough, bro. No, I don't understand. Dude, you're booming by. It doesn't even look Chinese. It doesn't get you. Oh, my went to, my went to. I can't see it. I know we've seen this, but I can't see it. so weird. Really weird. Thank you, boys. Is that your friend? Yeah, yeah. He's a bit drunk. Look, he's had five vodkas. Oh, first time, maybe. Smack with Donald Street says the better admin to this game, no Kappa. You're in the game. Well done, the it's the right one. option. Obviously he needs some help because, you know, her friends come and likely they want to catch up and talk. And this is a point where you can easily get Dog. sent away. So you need your wingman. Yeah, you don't want to get sidelined in this situation. So that's an interesting trick with the napkin. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Um, She's yeah. good in that. Yeah, 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 I'm good at tricks, part of tricks. Oh, God. We'll be in the hand of dong. Right, I can't eat the ranch, I'm a dong, quite to the chuzo. He's so cute. Jian, 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 Dan, Dan, I. Jian, 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 Dan, Dan, I. Lie, lie, lie. What I need, me, I want. Oh, bye. Bye, bye. I guess you catch up with her later. Yeah, I guess I won't see her for a while. <laughs> yes, my friend likes to dance and sing when he's drunk. Does he? Does he? I bet he's embarrassed you a lot. <laughs> yes. Can you dance? Mm, not really. Maybe one I've had a bit to drink. Yeah, but... I'm sure you can. Yeah, I, I can dance. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoy it. So, you know, I'm really glad I came over to talk to you. You... <laughs> You're a really nice, uh... Yeah, I'm really glad you came over and had the confidence to chat. It's 
really nice. Maybe, um, maybe we could be friends, actually. That would be nice. Yeah. Well, if my friends are even fuck buddies, then hell yeah! I'm, no, I, I just meant friends, actually. Friends with benefits. No, just friends. Friends with benefits. You know what? Friends I don't even benefits. want to be friends anymore. Friends with benefits. Nope. Just strangers, actually. Yeah. Stranger with benefits? Really? Yeah. Too real. Bye then. Bye. Really? This is going to work for you? Did it work for you? Did it chat? It did smile the face. No. This is chat. Put me in the friend zone. Oh, I'm sorry. Because always put me in the friend zone. I just don't see you like that. I, um, I, I've, I've got enough friends. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You're not a horrible... I it's, could be so much more than just a friend. It's just, I, it's not... F I f could have loved you! Richard! You fucking friend so me! The friend is mad. The other female friend. Fucking oh, cuck and guy. Yeah, bless him. Great. Sounds good. Yeah. That sounds like <laughs> a good idea. This is oh, yeah. Worse. I think it'd be nice to be friends. Yeah, crying one. Yeah, that'd be cool. Well done. Successfully been put in the friend zone. Yeah. Which maybe is okay, right? For now, maybe you can like work harder to get out of it. Wiggle but out of it. Yeah, you're most definitely in the friend zone. So what is it that you do anyway? Well, when I'm not teaching Chinese, I work as a scientist. <laughs> uh, what, what kind of science? Uh, chaos theory, like in the context of biology. So it's a bit of a, it's a combination of maths and biology. Did you know that they have this scene in uh, Jurassic Park? Well, that actually. doesn't sound that interesting. Do you find it interesting? Agree with her. Did you just call science boring? Yeah, I was never really into it. Fuck. I thought you were a cultured person. Now that you said something like that, I think it must be you who's boring as fuck. I am still cold. I'm not boring. You've just yes, sat you just sat here for hours. You come into this restaurant, you order a boring fucking salad. You're in this boring white dress. She's gonna say you sat dress. here for hours. Your stupid boring hair. Fuck off. Fucking hell. Stupid boring hair. You are the most boring, stupid woman I've ever met. <laughs> and you are a fucking bitch as well. Stupid person. Making friends with a boring bitch like that. It's boring. <laughs> Fuck! This fucking acting is no good, man. He's so weird. Awful. He's so weird. Oh, really? The profession. Well, there's no need to swear in that case. Oh, but you can say that she's boring. Gotcha. Actually, to be honest, you're probably right. You know, the only reason I'm doing this job is because well, it's, the, it's the first job I had after university and I just haven't quit. Aww. Yeah, I hate science actually. It's really like, it is boring. Yeah. It, it doesn't, I don't really feel my creative side coming out there. So, yeah. Look at this yeah, beta. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Look at this beta. Right there. Science is boring. In the camp. So you should always stand up for what you do, not agree when she says it's boring? No, it shows absolutely, you know, definitely because she's boring if she can't find anything interesting about what you do. But it's a common thing, you know, because mm, I've heard many true. guys that are bankers, no. lawyers, whatever, like cool jobs. Cool and jobs. women sometimes say stuff like that. When I used to trade it's the stock market, I heard maybe. many, many times people say, well, that's just numbers on a screen. Well, I think it shows that they're boring. If you can't find beauty or something interesting in anything, 
then you're not creative enough yourself and you're not interesting. Very well said. So other than salad, what kind of food are you into? Um, I'm into like, lots of different food. Um, I love chicken Kievs. Oh, great. Yeah, yes, chicken me Kievs. too. Mm. Really me good. Too. Um, what else? I love brownies. Anything sweet. Brownies, yeah. yes, cake. <laughs> yeah. Do you like sweet? brownies? Yes, I love brownies. Mm. Oh, can you bake? No. Okay. I'd love to know how to bake, or maybe to meet someone who knows how to bake. Yeah, and so what kind of food do you like? Me? I'm actually really into sushi at the moment, you know. Oh, Can't nice. get enough raw fish. I, I love, love sushi, yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah? I love fish as well, yeah. Yes, fish. Yeah, it's good. Swordfish is probably one of the nicest sword. fish oh, I've ever had. I don't think I've ever had swordfish. It's delicious. It's, it's so it like? oily and, like, tender. It's... Oh, it tastes nice. like my dick. It, I always thought it would be, like, tough. And chewy. It's it's chewy, but in a good way. Like it's it's chunky, okay. but it's but it's not um it's not tough at all. Oh, know? is it not? It's, it's, oh, nice. it's really like flavoursome. You know? Oh, delicious! It comes in like steaks because you know how big swordfish are. You know. They're... Yeah, massive. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so you'll have like a steak of it on yes. your. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Maybe if I put pepper on it's the keyboard, she'll skip this. Yeah. She will find the right key. Okay, dog. Find the right key. So, so I've got some friends who are expecting a baby boy soon, and they're trying to think Wait, of a name. Like, do you think you can help you think of a baby boy's name? Like, what's your boyfriend's name? <laughs> oh, I, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm single. Oh. Uh, my ex's was called Albert. Maybe Albert. Albert. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll I'll text them. Yeah, I've always liked the name Martin as well. Okay. Yeah. I'll suggest that to them as well. Mm -hmm. Roll eye roller number one. Eye roller? Yeah, total eye roller. Eye roller, that's what I just, said. Just so not cool. Yeah. Peppa, you suck at this. So I've had a really great time meeting you and getting to know you, but I'm a bit worried about <laughs> your friend. Beta, my friend Richard, you know, he's a, he's a bit crazy. Fair. So I think I'm going to go save her, let you guys you know, a catch up, and then um, I'll be off. But you know, I think we should see each other again. You've seen everything there is to see. Suggest that you can come ho come to her house to check the feng shui in her bedroom. So I'm actually a Isn't feng shui boss expert, boss? and it's actually very important to get player? the feng shui in your bedroom right. So you know you could invite me over, and I could see if um, I can sort out the feng shui in your bedroom. You know to maximize the flow of energy. You know I've got to make sure everything's positioned in the right position at the right angle. Okay, yeah, maybe. I mean, let me tell you a bit about feng shui. Shui means wet. Well, oh no, it means water. So, oh, okay. Well, that means that we've got to make sure your room is wet enough. Oh, and how, how are you going to do that? But in the feng shui way, you know, not, not literally. And then feng means oh, wind. Perfect. So we've got okay. to make sure it's wet enough so are that you can morning? blow properly. Okay, so I'm going to blow you? Is that what you mean? We could do that. Okay, and yes. then what will happen? And then I've got to position you properly on the bed. And I've got to fuck your brains out. Well, you know what? I'd really like to do this with my friend Mary. Um, oh, really? Yeah, do you want to go find yes, her? Yes, yes, that sounds very, and very could... interesting, yes. Wow, yes. it worked. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, that sounds good. Stay right there. I'll be back. Okay, great. Yeah, great. Security? Mary, Mary. Wait, is she leaving her friend? What the fuck? Your friend. Your friend. With your... I actually thought this one was going to work. Really? You yeah. thought that was going to work? Yeah, well, feng, feng shui is, uh, is a thing, isn't it? Chat cruise okay. and all that, uh, or whatever. Relax now. Look, or there's whatever. a dog. Right, okay. Energy flows. Now, you've had enough. See? Socially awkward. This is you. Cool. Chat. That's the right option. And, you know, for this level, I got some. So, this uh, was actually right. I'm so, triggered. whenever you approach a woman, it's like, what is your reason for doing This is a little bit of drama here. I don't know if you'd like this one, but Go it's, on. it's saying that, you know, the Asian women are more feminine and reserved, which is kind of true. Mm. They're sloppy. Okay, we finished the whole demo, at least. Finished the whole demo. 
and Papa is getting restless so I think it's a good time to peace the fuck up peace the fuck up